ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, 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 welcome. How are you guys doing on this lovely Friday evening? Late. Hello, Thalso. Hello, Noring Guy. Hello, Freefall. Hello, Cresso. Hello, Uber, and hello, your wife. Ooh. Hello, Joss. Uh, hello, Pimple of Fist. Hello, The Atlas. Hello, Ghost Rick. Hello, Silverhouse. Hello, Don Lot. Uh, hello, OK Dude. Uh, hello, Lonely Fisherman. Uh, how are you guys doing? A Radiant Dawn hype. Let's go. Oh boy, Radiant Dawn. Um, you guys gotta help me here. How do I start New Game Plus again? I actually forgore. I have a clear file here that says clear six, clear six and clear seven. Wait, if I start this one, right? This is extra. Do I need to go extra? And what do I need to do? You choose to clear. Uh, it'll give you the option. It it doesn't though. Choose the clear file. This one, right? Part one prologue. You need a clear daughter to do it. Rigged file. New game, I think. If I, if I select this one, won't it be new game plus? Yes, 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 yeah. Start chapter on the cleared endgame. Like this one? Guys, you're, you're be giving me very confusing information here. If I just start this one, try to find out. Start a new game for transfers. All right, let's, let's do it then. Uh, so I have added transfers. Um... Just Google it. <laughs> uh, yes, I we we have added. I have transferred over my save file. Uh, so we will get. I will show growth rates and transfer bonuses when they are applicable. We need to get him to train. Okay. Not yet, sir. No. Someone's gotta be here. I will watch until the Dawn Brigade guy shows up, and then I'm gonna skip. Mm. Uh, oh, we have we have to watch Dawn Brigade, man. That that's a must every time. We're wasting our time. There's no, There's no one here. I know I heard something. Please don't cry. You give you. you they give us away. Who's there? Is it the Dawn Brigade? Perfect. All right, we, we, we had to watch Dawn Brigade, man. <laughs> All right, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. So, Iron Man Radiant Dawn is a special kind of beast, mostly because there's a million game over condition. This game really wasn't made to be Iron Man friendly at all. One of the reasons why is because of this girl right here, Mikaya, the enemy of all Iron Man runs ever. Mikaya is an annoying unit, for many reasons. One, she's frail as fuck. Two, she's slow. Three, she sucks. I, I really don't like Mikaya. She's probably one of my least favorite lords in the series. 15 HP. 15 HP, 2 defense. And she has 2 strength. Wait, how does weight work in Radiant Dawn again? I, th I don't think... Does strength counteract weight? I think not for tomes, right? I keep forgetting. Um... Mikaya is frustrating. She does have a lot of rest to her. Yay, she can tank magus, magus, the worst enemies ever. Um, strength does reduce weight. Okay, yeah, but she doesn't have strength, so that's that's a problem. Uh, she's a light magic user. Light magic kind of sucks in this game. There's not like the Thani is okay, but it has limited use in my opinion. Um, she does have Sacrifice, which allows her to run around healing people at the cost of her own health, and she does get 10 experience for this, which is nice. But I find that even when trained, Mikaya seldom becomes very useful. She's kind of a liability for the whole game. 
Uh, no, there's no transfers for Micaiah. When when transfers are applicable, they will show up on screen. So I will show them on the on the UI guys. But no, Micaiah is a Radiant Dawn character, so no transfers for her. But yeah, you're pretty much going to have to protect this girl from everything for like the first half of the game. It is incredibly frustrating. She can very easily cause a game over and reset your run. I think last time I Iron Man Radiant Dawn, I had like five resets in part one. So that's, uh, I'm gonna definitely try to be a little bit cautious about that. Now here's a guy I really like, Edward. Uh, the, the Dawn Brigade are the big meme and uh, the Dawn Brigade kind of sucks. This is kind of what makes them annoying to play, but not Edward. Edward is, in my opinion, the one member of the Dawn Brigade very much worth training, alongside Nolan. I think Edward is by far the best member of the Dawn Brigade. This is because with high strength and high speed, he can very quickly snowball. If he gets strength and speed for like his first few level ups, he will very quickly reach a point where he can kill enemies very easily and thus gain a lot of experience. And because there are available 1-2 range swords in Radiant Dawn, in the Wind Swords, uh, you can kind of use him as a 1-2 range unit, which is very nice. Uh, sometimes Edward just refuses to get going and it's very frustrating. Other times he'll just snowball out of control and become one of your best units. It, it, it very much is up to the RNG goddess whether or not he becomes good. Um, he has Wrath, which is nice. Um, you know, if he walks around on low health, he'll crit, but he's so frail, I find it very difficult for him to kind of do that. But Edward is definitely one of those units that you shouldn't, you shouldn't underestimate him. But um, whether he becomes good or not is usually out of your hands, especially on hard mode. I am playing on hard mode, so. Is it nerfed? No, I'm playing normal hard mode. Donlot was going to play the Japanese version. I decided against that. Uh, I decided against that. I I was like, eh, do I want to? Nah, I think we'll... Oh, let's... Ooh. This is interesting. Do we want to see experience on the window? What happens if we do that? I kind of like this. This is kind of cute. I like this. Yeah, more, more information is always nice. Manx, you're not on New Game Plus. Well, there was no option for me to start New Game Plus. I guess we're not doing New Game Plus. And uh, we should also show bonus experience, shouldn't we? Yeah, we should. There we go. Who the fuck care about Peleus? No one cares about Peleus. Now, I will say, Radiant Dawn may have some of my favorite animations in the game. It's 3D, but it's not ugly. I, th I personally think that Radiant Dawn was, was, is one of the prettiest Fire Emblem games. You are playing New Game Plus. I mean, yeah, I started a... Uh, sign, yo. If you, if you go back like five minutes to where I selected the game, you'd be able to see what I did. So, sign, if you could just scroll back with the stream, see what I did five minutes ago, and see if I... I'm pretty sure I selected New Game Plus, but it's, it's kind of unintuitive sometimes. Yes, Edward gets a very cool jacket when he promotes, which is kind of cool. I like that. Is the volume fine, by the way, guys? You, you like the in-game volume? It's not overpowering my voice? Just let, let me know if there's anything I should worry about. And this is perfect damage, which is very nice. Yeah, you're good, says Cyan. Okay. Alice, don't scream out commands unless you're sure. <laughs> no misinformation in my stream. Oh my god. Guys. Stephanie and I, we were walking at the Christmas market yesterday. You know what we found? There were protesters there. You know what they were protesting? They were protesting the World Health Organization. <laughs> Look at the logo. <laughs> they gave us a brochure. <laughs> they were literally queuing on boomers. Bethany, Bethany was like, look, they're protesting. And I was like, oh, it's probably something stupid. And then they were like, down with the World Health Organization. And they gave us a brochure. <laughs> literally queuing on boomers in the street. <laughs> we hate health. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I took Bethany to the Christmas market in Oslo. It's very beautiful. Um, Alright, so Edward took a bit of damage here. I like to put him in front here. I think 
I might just uh, sacrifice with Micaiah, because I think every single one... Yeah, by the way, fun fact about Radiant Dawn on hard mode, you can't check enemy ranges. So it's like, like Dawnbot assigned this difficulty or something. You can't... Uh, weapon Triangle is disabled on hard mode, and you can't see enemy ranges. It's really annoying. You kind of just have to know. Oh yeah, I also have... Um, I also think I need to turn on fast animations. Whoop. A fun little fact about Radiant Dawn, you can toggle between animations, the map animations, by pressing uh, pressing a button. I really like this, actually. Oh, boy. Worst unit just arrived right here. Oh, my goodness. Okay, did I not put fasts? Uh, yeah, there we go. No, wait, what? Uh, game speed fasts. I thought they moved so slowly, I guess. If you wanted to bring in transfers like you would have in vanilla, yes, you'd have to start an in-game clarify. file, but Manx is bringing in transfers. Yeah, so I am... I am... I have had Potterino manually hack in transfer bonuses for me. That's how I do it. Anyway, let's talk about worst unit. Oh boy, Leonardo. What did they do to archers in this game? You'd think after 10 games they would, they'd have learned to make a good archer. But no, they, they just keep shitting them out. I don't really think they understood how to make good archers until fates, really. They just kept shitting these units out one by one, one after the other. Uh, the only good thing about this guy is the Draco shield he comes equipped with. Everything else is pretty shit. I mean, does he have good growth rates? By Radiant Dawn standards, no. 40 strength and 35 speed is pretty shit. Uh, most units in this game have growth rates above 50%, so... The only thing this guy really has is skill and luck, which would, will not help him that much. Um... I, I really don't like Leonardo at all. Um, he, his stats suck, his growth rates suck, he's locked to bows, which are the worst weapon type in the game. And for some reason, they decided to give him cancel, which is like, why? 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 He's an archer! He can usually... Like, this only really helps him when he attacks mages and other archers. It's such a dumb skill. I don't know why they put cancel on an archer. So, it, it's just really annoying. Um, like, yes, he does get a personal bow in Act 3. He gets the Lugnadasa, or whatever the, whatever it's called, that bow. Uh, which, like, yeah, sure, it's a good bow, but he still sucks, and I don't like him. I'll still use him in Act 1, because I have to, but he... Man, does this guy fall off quickly. Oh my goodness, he falls off so fast. Matt McCleskey, donated five bucks for Super Chat. I am playing through Radiant Dawn and I got a Heron in part one prologue. Oh, you're randomizing it. Oh, that's funny. Randomized Radiant Dawn is actually a lot of fun. I'd like to do an Iron Man once. Harry donated. Oh, I got, by the way, I got this donation while I was offline. Andron Saga is the best game of this year. Thank you, Manx, and the entire team. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. My goodness. That, that made me really happy. Fiona? <laughs> I've trained her before, you know. I've trained her before. She's terrible. <laughs> yeah, so the Draco shield that Leonardo comes with is... Uh, it has... There are many different things you can do with it. There are many different things you can do with it. Um, some people like to give it to Edward, which is okay. Uh, some people give it to Mikaya. I think this is completely worthless. It's not going to save her. Um, B R Nolan, the the fighter who joins in the next part, is probably the best recipient of it. You could give it to Jill, which is fine. Uh, Aaron uses it well, too, if you plan on using him. I personally like to give it to Nolan. I can also give it to Edward, if needed. Oh, boy. Uh, are we gonna be okay here? Yeah, we are. Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, let's go! Wrath, boys! Yeah, so there you see, Wrath can actually prog mid-combat. Mid the thing, though, <laughs> this is the thing about... Okay, here we go. First ever level up. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be one of those Edwards. Yeah. Yeah! It's gonna be one of those Edwards, ladies and gentlemen. So, um... Wrath can actually be a very scary skill in Radiant Dawn, because if you're placing Edward in a choke point, 
especially in that one chapter where you fight the tigers. They knock him down to half health, he procs Wrath mid-combat, and he starts killing things. It can actually get him killed very easily, so... Alright. They didn't change... Wrath grants 30 crit under half health in this game. In the Japanese version, it was trash. It was even worse. At this point, just reset. I'm not gonna save Scum Reset during an Iron Man. Well, you know, I might very well have to reset because it's an Iron Man, but I'm not save scumming. No, no. We take what we are given. We, we take what the RNG Goddess gives us and we run with it. By the way, the boss in this game is named, yeah, his name Pugo, which I think is hilarious. Pugo. <laughs> I don't, I don't know why I find that so funny, I just do for some reason. It's funny, it's because you can stall XP to Micaiah by getting her to level 20. It probably doesn't change anything about her. Yeah, this is the thing about Micaiah. Even if you grind her up to level 20, she's still shit because of her low caps. So, like, you think you can do something with her, but you can't. Like, I still like to sacrifice whenever I can because getting a couple extra levels on her, extra HP level ups, can sometimes make her survive a single hit. Draco Shield on Nolan only occasionally lets him survive extra rounds. Uh, it, it, it is actually pretty significant if he... The thing is, if you give Nolan, like, a couple of, um... If he gets, like, a couple of, um... Defense and HP level ups combined with the Draco Shield, then it becomes good. I don't remember this guy. No, he has an Iron Axe. Okay. Then it becomes good. Otherwise, no. Okay, here comes Pugo. Pugu. This guy can kill Edward, so you gotta be very careful. Oh, there we go. Wrath. I really wish that they didn't remove Weapon Triangle Advantage on hard mode. It sucks so much that they do. Alright, I the sacrifice alone will actually not be enough here, but I'm still going to do it. I could have just attacked with Micaiah, but I'd rather do this. We need FE... 10 boss mode where Pugo replaces Micaiah. I'm sure someone has already made it. Uh, oh, he already has an herb. Okay. I will use an herb then. One thing that I really like about Radiant Dawn is the wide variety of healing items that you get and also the fact that items have more durability and that you have more inventory space. Lots of really cool quality of life improvements in this game that they just kind of ditched in the later versions for some reason. And I'm not really sure why. I kind of like having six item slots per character. It kind of makes inventory management so much easier. You have more inventory to use, but um, Radiant Dawn has no mid-map convoy. This is a good point. Yeah, this kind of sucks a little bit. Pugo would make a better choice than Micaiah. Micaiah is very stupid. Micaiah is a very dumb protagonist. She is naive. She reminds me a lot of Echo Celica. She is naive and stupid. She she trusts people she shouldn't trust. That is kind of her thing. And they present it as a good thing. Like, oh, she's just so trusting because she's the Maiden of Dawn. Oh, let's go, Edward. All right, let's see if he can salvage his first bad level up. Let's see. Come on, Edward. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, speed and defense is not bad. I would have preferred strength, though. I would have preferred strength, but I'll take what I can get. I'll take what I can get. I'll take what I can get. Yay, 30 bonus experience. Woo! Is Meg death dead yet? We haven't met her yet, guys. Come on. One thing I love about this game? The narrator. Tellius, the year 648, early summer. The narrator is so good. The northeastern nation of Dayan lost a bloody war with neighboring Crimea three years ago. Crimea, however, abdicated its right to rule Dayan and passed sovereignty of its former enemy to the powerful Benyon Empire. He's so good. Does anyone know his name? To the whims of the Empire. Lev Liberman. Has he voiced any Fire Emblem characters? Forces have gathered all day in men of fighting age and put them to work in labor camps. 
Their work is brutal and void of purpose. labor camps, ladies and gentlemen. To break both Literally, North Korea. The remaining population faces poverty and starvation as the fields lie fallow. A band of young heroes has escaped. Look how fat Mikaya looks in the silhouette. Form a group <laughs> of the dawn brigade, Look how fat she looks. She looks. She looks mega day. chubby. <laughs> I always found this hilarious. Stood against Benyon's forces. Only one of these guys can fight. The hopes of their nation. Among the company is a young girl named Micaiah, who is said to possess mystical powers. The people of Dayan have come to know her as the Silver-Haired Maiden. Mm. They have come to think of her as the savior for whom they had been waiting. Your soul will- oh, my soul, you guys. Just you wait until you- oh, this is- wait, this is chapter one? Okay. I thought this was chapter 2P, I guess I'm wrong. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, here we- this is actually a very tricky map. Th this- this- this made me restart, like, twice last time, so you- you definitely have to be careful here. Let's talk about the best part of this map, Nolan. I love this guy. Chuck Nolan has arrived right here, and you'll be glad to have him. You'll be very glad to have this guy. Oh, it's chapter 1.1. .1. Okay, yeah. It's been a while since I played Radiant Dawn. Alright, so, um, Nolan, he's a level 9 fighter, so he actually has base stats, unlike the rest of the Dawn Brigade. I still find that he falls off very easily, though. Um, he has good, he has good growths, don't get me wrong, 60% speed is really nice for a fighter, he's actually really fast. But just being a Dawn Brigade member makes it rough for this guy to snowball, because there's just not enough experience to go around in the first part. Um, uh, Nolan is like, I think, my second favorite Dawn Brigade member after Edward, though. He's very strong in this chapter. Nihil is occasionally useful. I get, it's not very useful, but there's a few situations where it could save you. Um... He hits pretty hard in this chapter, and uh, it's too bad that Weapon Triangle is removed on hard mode, though, because there's a lot of soldiers on this map, which I think Nolan would otherwise be very good against. But sadly, he doesn't get any bonuses against them here. Now, this does go both ways. He can fight Myrmidons somewhat more effectively on hard mode, because he doesn't get the hit penalty against them. I still find that because Axes are inaccurate and Myrmidons are fast, you still don't want to attack Myrmidons with him, but you can. Uh, you can definitely give him a Draco Shield to raise his defense up to 11. This makes him very bulky in the early game, but there is an argument for other units needing that Draco Shield more. I do think, though, that I want to do it just because it does make the first four chapters a lot easier. Uh, are you going to tank Mikaya? I don't think so. Maybe. What do you guys think, chat? Yes or no? Draco Shield to Nolan? Yes or no? Mm -mm. Let's see what chat thinks. Uh, I see a lot more yeses than noes. I think we'll do it. I think we'll do it just to make the... I mean, yeah. Just to make the early game a little bit more possible. We'll, we'll give Nolan the Draco Shield. It is it is kind of nice to do it. it. On this chapter in particular, he can take so much more punishment if he does it. So I think we will do this. So here I like to put... Normally I like to put Edward here and then Nolan here. But since I'm going to give Nolan the Draco Shield, I do believe we can, uh, we can place him here instead. Because those two extra points of defense really do matter here. You do have to check again. Some of these guys, these guys definitely don't have hand axes. So, also something you gotta keep in mind here. This is actually a ten turn escape chapter. So if you if if you let the time go over ten turns, you will actually get a game over. This actually got me once. Uh, it's a shame he didn't knock Edward into uh, wrath range there. That kind of sucks. Oh, right, the house. Uh, I might get it with... Li so the house only gives you a vulnerary. It's not really a big deal, and it's kind of annoying to get it. 
I think I'm just gonna skip the house. It's just a vulnerary, guys. It's not really that important. But yeah, because of the Draco Shield, Nolan can do this a little bit more effectively than he otherwise would. Now, let me show you the joys of Micaiah, everyone. Yep, she gets one shotted by generics. <sighs> but, oh my god. You see, this is why I fucking hate archers. Like, they never have enough strength like, to do what you need them to do. It's so frustrating. Uh, but I think what I'll do is I'll kill the javelin guy with Nolan, and then I will just sacrifice, I think, with Micaiah. Actually, I might need to sacrifice... Uh, okay, I need to do some calculations here. So, I'll take 5 damage from this guy. I might take 6 damage from this guy. I might just have to heal with Edward. Yeah, I, th I think I think I'm gonna have to sacrifice Nolan and heal Edward. Thanks. You want the house by Nolan Handax? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I I, I will get every house, but uh, this house in particular, I don't really like getting it because you want everyone here to help Chip, and if you send Leonardo to get the house, and there will be some reinforcements spawning here that might cut him off if you're not quick enough, so it's just not worth it. Uh, and the Vulnerary is not really an important item at all. You get so many healing items in this game, you can you can afford to skip it. Now, I know there's a Hand Axe here somewhere, so I need to be careful. Uh, this guy... I know one of these guys have a Hand... Yeah, that guy has a Hand Axe. What about this guy? Yeah, so... I'll just sacrifice Nolan. It sounds kind of bad when I say it like that. And this is a... Yeah, you need to be careful with the layout of the terrain. It can be a little... And I think I might as well do this. So, here's the question. I could kill this guy with Edward. But he will die, as you can see. So, no, no. Oh, this is bad, actually. Edward might die here. Actually, if he heals up to full, I think he'll be fine. Because he takes 10 damage from both of them. It depends on whether or not the guy goes for... Yeah, this is actually bad. Oh, he can die here, actually. Yep, he, he dodged. I could have gotten a game over there. If, if both of those guys had hit me, I would have dead, dead. I would have died. Bottom left house has a vulnerary. It's not really worth it, in my opinion. You can get it, but it's not really... It's actually really annoying that Edward doesn't get knocked into Wrath Range by these guys. The HP level up kind of screwed him over. He could just unequip. Could've, but we don't want to waste too much time, do we? Oh, Wrath is 30% on this game. Yeah, that's right. It's hard, much harder to proc. Yeah, Rath, they nerfed Wrath Resolved hard in this game, but honestly, I kinda get it. I kinda get it. Alright, uh, if we chip a little bit with Leonardo here, boom, then we can uh, kill with Edward. We send Nolan forward, I think Nolan will be fine. Again, the Draco Shield just allows so much more flexibility for him this map, because he can do things like this. If this misses, I am a little screwed, I will say. But I didn't miss it, so it's fine. Yes, the description is wrong. This is true. It does say 50%, but it's actually 30%. It's kind of dumb. Again, this rush, this game was kind of rushed. Everyone knows this. Here comes the archer and the soldier. Are you going to use Peleus? Peleus kind of sucks. I'm sorry, guys. 90% miss? 90% miss? Okay. Alright. 90% miss. Now again, this archer might also one-shot Mikai, so we got- No, he, she, she barely survives one arrow. God, I hate this woman. Oh my goodness. Mikai, you're so terrible. Alright, so let's go get the hand axe real quick. I think I'm gonna trade it over to Nolan and heal. I think that's probably for the best. Yeah, I'm gonna trade the hand axe over to Nolan. And then I'm gonna drink a vulnerary. Go. 
And then we'll heal Edward. Manx, is Micaiah the weakest lord in the game? Uh, yes. I would actually say she's... I think she competes with Roy, potentially, on hard mode. But she's pretty damn weak. Uh, Roy, even Roy can take a couple hits. She cannot, so... Yeah, I think Micaiah probably ranks as the, as the weakest lord in Fire Emblem, honestly. Um, Roy is easier to protect. Roy can actually fight a little bit. She actually gets one shot by everything. She can't weapon triangle, which is a problem. Micaiah can heal, yeah. In, after a while, she can heal. This is true, but not right away. I love this dart so much. The backwards roll is so cool. Mario Kart from N64 on N64. Donated 10 bucks. Merry Christmas, man. Looking forward to this run. P.S. I'm sorry for the requesting the Trono Chrono Trigger OST, OST a couple of weeks ago. Did not realize that Square Enix would copyright claim it. Oh, no, 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 no. It wasn't Chrono Trigger that was uh, copyrighted. It was um, Octopath Traveler. You're good. You're good. The Chrono Trigger soundtrack was great. It didn't get copyrighted at all. It was when I played Octopath Traveler 2 music on stream that, I, that they stole half my ad revenue. So I was a little bit pissed about that. But, no, no, you're good. Uh, what the fuck is up with this RNG? Oh my god. Okay, uh, I think we will get the... Let's get the archer, probably. Yeah, the, uh, the background, this game is one of the most beautiful Fire Emblem games ever made in terms of animations. I really think it is. These graphics have only really grown on me. Like, this game looks gorgeous. It, it is a gorgeous game, and it has aged incredibly well. The aesthetics, the houses look great, the animations look great. Radiant Dawn, for all of its messy plot and weird character decisions, is a gorgeous game. And I really, really like it. Uh, now, this guy I don't think moves until you attack him. I, I hate this guy. I really don't like this guy at all. The animations are a little stiff. A little bit. Yeah, they're a little stiff, I will admit. They're, they're far from perfect. But they're, like, from 2007, so I think we can excuse them. Alright, let's heal up a little bit. Yeah, that guy actually does not move, um, so we want to be able- This is always, like, a tricky part of the game, personally. I, I really don't like it, because you don't really know if you- The AI of these guys is a little bit weird. I think they're linked to each other? Oh, nice cancel, Leonardo. Thanks. Really appreciate that. Steel Axe should get the job done. That's good. Nothing will touch GB animations. I agree. But Radiant Dawn comes in a close second. And if we're gonna do a 3D Fire Emblem, we might as well do it this way. Matt McCleskey, don't know five bucks for Super Chat. I am playing through Radiant Dawn and I got a. Oh, I read that one. I'll read it again. Alright, we'll go here with you. And again, we wanna be very we wanna be very careful with Micaiah here. In fact, I think I might just okay, let's smoke some weed on Micaiah. There we go. This is better than Engage. I think I, I prefer these graphics to Engage's graphics, but then again, you know. Uh, still no Wrath from Eddie right here. If you attack the guy by the boss, they both move. Yeah, that's what I seem to recall. Yeah, that's what I seem to recall. Uh, I think we will, we will sacrifice Eddie, and then we'll kill the guy with Eddie, and then we'll move in with all of our guys when we're ready. I think <laughs> we'll move. <laughs> we'll sacrifice Eddie, and then move in when we're ready. Oh, there's... You see, this is why I don't trust this game. You think you're good. Thank you know, in the situations like this, I do like having Leonardo. Oh, another cancel. Lovely. I love I love proking cancel at two range. On enemies with one range. It's my favorite. So here, I think, because we have the Draco shield on Nolan, I think we can do this. And again, this is like one of the... This is one of the few rare cases where I do like... Um, so I'm kind of worried that the boss will attack and then this guy will move like this and attack Edward. So I think I will wait just one turn. And just to play it safe, I'm going to 
drink up on a vulnerable. You get a lot of healing items in this game, so you can you can be pretty. Yeah, here those are the reinforcements that come from behind, so you gotta be very careful about them. And then I, I like to put Edward here, and then Nolan on the left side with a hand axe like this. That's how I prefer to do it. And because oh, I don't like that crit rate, I really don't. So I think we'll just not attack. I kind of want a vulnerary, so I, I don't know, hmm. If I do this, yeah, I think this is what we'll do. This is, this is probably safe. Yeah, we got two turns left, so we actually do have to hurry. Now you get bonus experience for every member you escape with. Uh, you can escape with Mikaya first to not get any bonus experience. Okay, we, we can't, okay, we have to smoke weed. This is fine. Radiant Dawn art style with engaged level animations would be amazing. Yeah, I agree. Don't crit me. Alright, and he goes for Edward. That's fine. Oh, nice! He proc Wrath. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, Edward doesn't double. What the fuck? Oh! This is, oh uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, a lot of, a lot of reinforcements coming through here. This is very, very scary. I don't like this. Luckily, we have Leonardo. Leonardo, if you miss this, I'm gonna scream. Okay, thank God. Alright, Leonardo level up. Are we gonna get a good Leo- No. No, we're not. No, we're not. We Do you never get good Leonardo's? Ever. Alright, so this guy's got five moves. One, two, three, four, five. So we definitely we have to move Nolan like this. If we miss here, we might be in a bit of trouble. Yeah, um because I don't know if Mikaya takes a hit from this guy. No, she doesn't. Uh, okay. I guess I'll just have to go like this. Thank God there's a little nook here she can hide behind. Okay, uh, we need to kill this guy. Like, right now. Sacrifice Leonardo. Okay. I think we're good. We can all escape on the left-hand side. Edward gets one final level up. I'm getting shit levels. This is not good. Yeah, we have to. We have to get out of here. It's tempting to stay and fight these guys, but I would not. I would not do this. I would just... Yeah, we literally have to escape on this very turn, so... Everyone has to get out. You see what I mean? This chapter is kind of tricky. It's very easy to get a game over here. We did it. Exactly on the number, ladies and gentlemen. Bench Edward when you get the get the Swordmaster Seahark. Oh, I'm so sad. I'm not gonna get transferred Seahark. It, it actually, I'm actually bothered by the fact that I'm not. I'm not gonna get transferred Seahark. It would have been so good. So now we're yeah. Now we're in chapter one two. Okay. All right. So here we are in chapter one point two. This is where we get God. But first, we get Laura, who is not God. Laura's pretty bad. Uh, but she is needed. She's a staff, and that's pretty much about it. <laughs> if you if you keep her alive, sure, she can heal. But she never really does anything but heal. Um, she is made of paper. Like, absolute paper. Not as... Yeah, she's, she's about as survivable as Micaiah, I'd say. She does have good growth stuff. 70% magic, 70% skill, 70% speed. Pretty good. Uh, but she does suffer from very, very low uh, caps. Laura is a one-use vulnerary. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. I mean, yeah, sure, she doesn't have to fight, but it's, it's surprisingly easy to place her in range of something on hard mode. If you don't pay attention, so you gotta be very careful with where you put her. Shoving is 
kind of necessary when you're if you want to heal with her you you want to run over heal and then you want to have the person she healed like shove her one back space so she won't get killed by hand decks happens a lot in this game uh but i'm grateful for a staff unit it's not that like i am grateful that i have a staff unit i just wish laura would be better <laughs> so Yes, stat caps are very low in this game. This this is always a bit of a tricky start because because you can't check ranges, you have to calculate ledge movements. I think ledge movements take away three movement points when you move through them, so you, you kind of have to just know. Uh, but I always like to put Nolan... Uh, I think both of these guys have lances, so I'm just going to put... Uh, because Nolan has a Draco shield, he can attack here, otherwise I would not do this. Ah, uh, yes, the Letkes... Uh, I'll start reading donations on the enemy face, guys. I promise. Wow, Mikaya, you're so good. So I like to just attack. Uh, I guess we could attack with Leonardo instead. Might as well. And then what I like to do is I like to put... Uh, this guy will go like this. So, I like to put uh, Edward here, because, let's see, how many movement points were the lead kiss again? I think there were five, right? So, it's like one, two, three, four, five. If I remember correctly, it can only go here, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, TC's here. Hi, TC. My first subscriber, everyone. Uh, does anyone remember the 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 cost over Letkes? Is it three or five? He can move to Edward Square. Okay. Three movement for infantry. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So he can move. Oh, so if we place Micaiah right here, we should be good. In other words, you can check with Edward. That's a good point. Yeah, that's one, two. Three, four, five, six. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you can see with Edward's movement right here. Why don't you have attack ranges? Because in on hard mode, Radiant Dawn doesn't let you view enemy ranges. It's how it makes the game more difficult. On hard mode, you don't get weapon triangle and you don't get enemy ranges. It's a, it's one of the dumber design decisions of this game. Skill speed luck, nice, nice Chuck Norris. Uh, there is a patch that you can apply that turns it back, but some would consider this taint since enemy ranges and triangles does make it easier for the player. And considering I'm already transferring my save, I don't want to be too tainty. Anyway, Mario Kart donated five bucks for Super Chat. I like Radiant Dawn, but I still think structure it in parts and having unit groups holds it back. Curious of your thoughts. It is the only way that you could make this game. Ah, oh, God has arrived. Um, it is the only way you could have made this game, in my opinion. Uh, because unless you demote all the Grail Mercenaries, how are you going to play around the fact that most of them are promoted? Uh, I, I do agree that it does make the game a bit jambled. The fact that you jump back and forth between different groups is very annoying. And it's very annoying for particularly blind playthroughs. It's a mess. But it is also kind of... It is cool that they tried something unique. Oh yeah, you're gonna love my south, guys. <laughs> you're gonna love my south. Okay, is, does Edward have a 100% chance to hit here? He does not. I fucking hate this. Oh boy. Oh boy. Mikaya, you better not miss this. If Mikaya misses this, it might actually be GG for me. Okay, now Edward needs to hit. Alright, first Mickey level up. Let's see what she gets. Okay, she got strength. That's actually really good. A point of strength for Mikaya is practically a point of speed. Uh, never mind, light tomes don't waste shit. Uh, ignore that statement. Okay, let's go, Edri. Man, seeing the other side of the story in Act 3 is something I really enjoy and would have loved to see in Fates, yeah. It is pretty epic when the Grail Mercenaries return. I mean, let's be real, it is. 
Tragedy in green, don't know five bucks. Hello, egg. I hope you have a successful Iron Man. May your levels be based and full and food full. Also, my birthday is tomorrow. Aw! Happy birthday tomorrow, Tragedy. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a birthday right before Christmas. That must be something. Canadian Samurai donated 10 Canadian bucks to Super Chat. Uh, Radiant Dawn was actually my first Fire Emblem game. It was so hard, it scared me away from the series until Sacred Stones on the 3DS. Every chapter felt like an impossible task. I never ima made it past part two of the endgame. This game is actually really hard, I will say. This is a tr trick. This is a even on normal mode, this game is tricky. I can absolutely understand why it would scare the shit out of a newer player. And this is, I would say it's not game good game design. Uh, it should have been a lot easier on easy mode, in my in my humble opinion. They really went all out on this game. It's way harder than Path of Radiance. Um, Crimson Shadow donated four ninety nine. Mangs, would you fancy the Talios games being remade or remastered? I never got to play these games myself. I would love that so much. Uh, and that's kind of what I predicted for the longest time that is that we would get a Path of Radiance remake until I heard about the FE four leaks. Uh, I think these games definitely deserve a remaster. The question is, though, would they be able to do them justice? I don't know. Maybe. Her in the mood donated 15 da Danish crowns for Super Chat. I will always love this game to death. Thanks for finally playing it, my egg. Manx egg chap, Manx egg chap, Manx cumin. We have a Manx cumin emote? What? When, when, do we <laughs> when do we add a Manx cumin emote? Uh... All right. Let's see. Okay, guys, are you guys ready to see the most busted souls in existence? <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so I transferred my souls from Path of Radiance, and in Path of Radiance, when you transfer souls, he transfers his stats directly. He does not work like he works uniquely to any other unit in the game. This is so. He has one extra point of HP, two extra points of strength, two extra points of magic, five extra points of luck, three extra points of defense, and one extra point of resistance. Salt is already insane. With these transfers, he is god. Like, he, he, this is god mode Salt right here. This is crazy. But there is a downside to all of this. Salt is literally going to destroy everything he touches. It's going to be very hard for me to set up kills with him because he's so damn strong. I might have to forge him alone my dagger just to set up kills for the for the Dawn Brigade. But the extra, like, in particularly the extra three points of defense and the extra five points of luck is going to make it very, very nice. To, like, he's going to be a lot more tanky. He does have bronze daggers. This is true. This is true. He only has two extra points of strength. He doesn't need that much harder, but he is a lot more tanky. Than the original South. So uh, this is this is a good unit right here and solid Jagan and uh, a fun transfer for sure. Stone dagger, let's go, yeah. Let's see. <laughs> he wander on with the bronze dagger. So I think one of these guys have a javelin. No, we'll kill the steel lance guy first. Wow, he literally one rounds with a bronze dagger. This is funny. Look at this guy! <laughs> oh my god. Can you solo part one with South? I don't know if you can solo. Enemies do scale pretty damn quickly in this game, but... I don't know, maybe. Maybe. He takes three damage from the Steel Lands. Yeah, he does. It's pretty funny. We'll send Edward up here, and then uh, I think we can probably let Nolan and uh, Leonardo kill the remaining Axe Fighter. There we go. Rogue and Assassin have such edgelord animations, but I love it. Yeah. What kind of sucks about Soth is that his Whisper camps are kind of low, so even if you train him, he's not fantastic. And Whispers also have a very bad Master skill in that he doesn't kill the target. Which is a little bit annoying, but hey. <laughs> no damage on so That's hilarious. Of course, he gets one experience. Two sometimes. Which is not great. 
Yeah, this salt is pretty busted. <laughs> Clink. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's so funny. He's so much better than the rest of the Dark Brigade. It's not even funny. Nice dodge, Edward. Let's go. My Eddie is not doubling fighters, though. This is not great. This is not great. Oh, one down. Yeah, just you wait until you see my prom, ladies and gentlemen. Just you wait until you see my prom. Just you wait until you see my Braum. He is the stuff of legends. There we go. Alright. Um, okay, so I can't... Yeah, so welcome to up letka, down letka bonuses right here. You get a minus 50 penalty to attack if you if you attack up letka. So, good luck hitting anything. Now, you want to be careful. These guys can actually jump down from Letka and attack you. So, uh, before I do this, I will probably heal. Letkas were such a good mechanic. I like them. I do find that on some maps, they are very annoying. Oh my goodness. Uh, this could actually be bad. One, two, three, four. Okay, so if we put... We might as well attack, even though it's up let get. We, we might as well try, right? What's kind of cool, too, is you can place Mikaya. You can't attack melee down let get or up let get. So if you place Mikaya here, she'll be fine. Um, yeah, I'm, not gonna, I'm just not going to attack, I think. Yeah, I'm just not going to attack. Vulnerary here that you can steal, you should definitely do that. Check Biorhythm, of course. Uh, Biorhythm in this game actually does matter a little bit more than it usually does, I will say. Yeah, it gives 10 experience. It's actually pretty nice. 10 experience to self. A unit who gets nothing from fighting can actually get decent experience from fighting. I actually hate that my Edward doesn't double fighters. He's so slow. This is actually very annoying. Hi, Jared. How you doing? Now, there's going to be some enemies coming from behind here. We want to get a Pletka before that happens. I like the ledge system, but I think the swing is too extreme. 20, yeah, I think 20 hit would be better. I agree. Like, 50 hit in a void is pretty, pretty insane. I don't really know why they decided to go so hard on it. I really don't. Is that pro Jared? <laughs> pro Jared. A slow Edward is the worst. Yeah. Her the mode, don't have 50 Donkey Kong's true super chat. I love the idea of controlling different squads throughout the game, but Joffrey's squad has too many yellow units. Joffrey's squad is feels really weak. I agree. It's it's not fun. I really, really dislike Joffrey's squad. It has mostly scrubs in it. Joffrey's like the only one who's like decent. Just kinda sucks. Alright, so stay away from this area. This area is death. Like, just don't go anywhere near it. This guy will attack Apletka. You can actually get some experience with Leonardo here. So what I like to do is just shove him over right here. And then I like to send Edward over here to help out. And then I like to just have Leonardo attack down Letka right here. It's like, he has a 0% chance to be hit here, so it's actually kind of nice. Astrid sucks in Radiant Dawn. I'm sorry, Astrid fanboys. She does. You know it's true. She is completely unusable in this game. She's not even... She's not available. Also, I think it's kind of weird how Mikaya doesn't have a talk with Soth on this map, but it's fine, I guess. Also, fun fact. Letkis do not have animations in this game. Uh, they always default to no animations because, uh, for some reason... It's kind of weird. Is there... I think there's an... Yeah, there's a sword guy here. Because I don't think they had the budget to animate people shooting up or down. So they just opted to do not do any animations. Which I thought was a bit of a funny band-aid solution. Your Mickey is only level 2. Well, you get half experience on hard mode. So, yeah, all your units are going to be underleveled. It's kind of... It kind of sucks. Uh, okay, so let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Uh, one, two, three, four, four. I gotta check their movement. Uh, they got one, two, three, four, five, six. So he can attack here. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. He can attack here. So, again, just gonna double check. One, two, three, four, five, six. He can attack here. 
Yeah, if we place Edward, like, right here, he should be able to deal with this guy. Again, I, I know I'm paranoid, but I just gotta double check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, if we place Edward right here, he should be fine. La, 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 la. Again, like, one wrong move in this freaking game and you are dead. It's annoying as hell. Now, I actually think I want to send so... Yeah, here they are. So, again, this is another good opportunity for Edward to get some experience. So, no, sorry, Leonardo to get some experience. You put him here. You put Nolan right here next to him with a hand axe. And boom. You can farm some experience off the archers, which is actually really nice. So, here's Thani. Here's uh, Mikaya's personal tome. Uh, a light magic tome that's actually effective against armor. This is, a, like, one of the best aspects of Mikaya. She does a crap ton of damage to cavalry and armors. So, like, thank goodness they gave her an effective tome. Meng is the vampire from Sesame Street. Oh, yeah, the Count. <laughs> that's kind of funny. How do you feel about supports in this game? I really don't like Radiant Dawn's support system. I don't like that everyone can support with everyone. It just makes it a little bit annoying, but it is also some people really do like the flexibility that it offers, which is fine. Oh, nice. He canceled the archer, guys. The archer. Actually, cancel actually did something for once. I don't remember if there's another wave of reinforcements on this map. I think there is, but I don't remember. Yeah, I'm getting the shittiest of shitty level. Yeah, there they are. I am getting the shittiest of shitty level ups, ladies and gentlemen. The absolute shittiest. The absolute shittiest of shit, shit level ups, ladies and gentlemen. I have not gotten one good level up. Hunter Biscuit donated 10 bucks through Super Chat. Can't wait for the Khalil Tunnel of this game <laughs> already done. <tunnel. laughs> oh, the freaking Khalil Tunnel, man. The freaking Khalil Tunnel. Alright, so I think we can probably just kill this seven. Okay, we do gotta be a little bit easy. Enemies in this game, they kind of scale in a very nasty way, and I really don't like it. Luckily, you have a million healing items, so you really should be okay here, whatever you decide to do. Safe safe thing to do here is to just send Soth in. I think Mikaya and Soth have, like, an automatic A support, don't they? Yeah, they do, so that's kind of nice. You get some nice little bonuses. You get 15 avoid, 8 hit, and 2 damage whenever they're next to each other. I like this. It doesn't help Mikaya, but it sure as hell makes Soth better. The enemies are very, really high level. Yeah, this game is weirdly scaled, man. Very weirdly scaled. Yeah, Sult can also guard Mikaya, but there's no way you'd ever want to risk anything on it. Because it's super scary to do. You know, I'm happy I gave Nolan the Draco Shield. The next chapter is really hard, and it's going to be good as a result. Now, can I please get a good level up? Can I please get a good level up? Okay, this is a pretty good level up, actually. Didn't get strength, but he pretty much got everything else. Oh my god, his hit rate is garbage. What the? He must have low buy rhythm. Does he? Uh, he does have. Both of them have good buy rhythm, and Nolan has bad buy rhythm. And by the way, you can check Byron them in this game by just looking at their portrait. You see the little arrow that's next to Nolan's name. Very good change. Both of these have very good Byron them. Nolan has bad Byron them. So no wonder. No wonder. Here's another Rolnar you can get. If you so wish. Again, be very careful here. Laura dies. If she put her in range of a single unit, she will die. This game is evil. Ex-wielders always need the skill as well as strength. Yeah, skill is good for Nolan, for sure. Oh, nice. A steel bow for Leonardo. Yes, buy rhythm is increased. A very good buy rhythm gives 10 hidden avoid. And it also gives, like, 20% skill activation. 
So it actually is pretty consequential for activating skills. Are you doing Sihar and Meg support? I don't know. You can support anyone with anyone in this game. I like to do Edward Nolan. Uh, either Edward Nolan or Leonardo Edward. Um, everyone can support in this game, but I do believe they have different growth rates with different units. So uh, I, I think Edward Nolan is a really solid support because they're very often together on the front lines and it gives Nolan has Earth, which gives Edward some very much needed avoid. So I think I'm going to do Edward Nolan... Um, Seahawk Nolan is also good, but you get it so much later, though. You get it so much later, I don't really know. The boss also has something... Yeah, it's a stealable vulnerary, so we gotta hand out some vulneraries here. To the rest of the gang. So, in this game, you get 1-2 range swords. They have really shit stats. 6 to hit is garbage, but it, at the very least, it is a 1-2 range sword. Like, basically, they're javelins and hand axes. They don't deal magic damage, they deal physical damage. Um, this makes Myrmidons somewhat better in, in uh, Radiant Dawn. I find that the Wind Edges are not good enough to be used consistently. Or, like, they, their stats are a little bit too shit, in my opinion. I think I'm just gonna kill this guy with, with so if I, I don't, I don't want to risk it. You get a Steel Bow, which is nice. I'm gonna go Sacrifice Nolan. It says magic blade. No, it uses strength, not magic. Yeah, the same. It's the same problem with mist's uh, floret. It says it's a magic sword. It's a strength sword. Again, this game is rushed and sloppily coded. <laughs> Look at how good my self is. Look at how freaking good my self is. This is disgusting. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Again, you see how many vulneraries you get in this freaking game? It's crazy. Like, you get so many vulneraries, and I don't think you get bottle preps, so I'm gonna... Let's take a look. So we want to get the... We, you want to do inventory management immediately. Uh, you want to give a vulnerary over to Laura. Like, she'll probably die if she gets hit anyway, but... You just want to make sure that you have the... We want to put the hand... Again, like, inventory management, really important. You can have Mikaya kill the boss here if you want, but I like to give it to Soph. I think he gets a little bit more experience from it. My Soph is so freaking good, man. Steel sword from Leo to... Uh, yeah, I will. So we're gonna do that. Steel sword over here. Uh, I also think we have a vulnerary that we can give to Edward. Do you guys really want to kill the boss with Mikaya? We can kill the boss with Mikaya if you want. It's fine. There you go. <laughs> she, she, she does do a cramp on her damage with it, which is kind of funny. There you go. Oh, oh, that's a nice level. Let's go. Mm -mm. Skill, luck, and resistance. I continue to get dog shit level ups for some reason. I'm not sure why. Wait, what am I doing? That's that's the wrong target. Uh, that is the wrong target. Yeah, the luck brigade. Let's go. Um, I think. I think. Um, I think we'll put a. I really would like a vulnerary on Leonardo. Let's see. I I don't think Laura will get hit, so she can probably give her vulnerary away. Right, so we get a stat booster here, an energy drop. Um, if Edward had leveled better, I'd say he would be a good candidate for it. It's also worth giving to Jill when you get her. Uh, my Edward is not that great right now, so I don't think I'll be giving it to him. Can it can, donate 20 bucks. Ming's money! Thank you, my friend. Merry Christmas. I think we'll swap these two around, honestly. It is plus two speed to Edward as well. This is a good point, at least when he uses the steel sword. 
Uh, read my dono. Spring, if you tell me to shave one more time. Spring dono at 10 bucks. The face jingles in the game are fun to listen to. Also, Mangs. Hi. Nice shave. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew he was going to talk about shaving. Uh, yeah, the jingles are actually really pretty here. Okay, so do you guys think we should give it to Edward? I mean, Edward does make very good use of that energy drop. It could maybe salvage him a little bit. It's an Iron Man. Let's, let's, let's not hold back. Let's do it. Nine strength on Edward. Let's hope he levels some speed. All right, here we go. This is uh, this is probably my least favorite chapter of part one, the one that's about to come up right now. This is a tricky chapter, a very, very tricky chapter. Will you do a Lagoose only run? How do you even do that? There's not enough Lagoose to make that work. Okay. So welcome to chapter 1.3. We get a we get some new units here. We get Amy the the uh, vendor. I think you get experience if you keep her alive. You also get Kurt Naga. So if you you can actually use him to tank if you send him forward. He has 15 defense, so he's actually pretty beefy. I don't like doing this though. I like to keep him in the back. Um, but we get Ileana, the only I think the only unit from Path of Radiance that is still unpromoted, which is kind of funny. Now, I actually really wanted to use Ileana in my in my Path of Radiance Iron Man run. Because uh, transfers actually benefit Ileana quite a bit in this game. For her to get two extra speed and magic in Radiant Dawn actually makes her really damn good in Act 1. It makes her double consistently and kill things, which you actually need. Uh, but I couldn't recruit her, so I couldn't transfer her, sadly. Uh, Ileana's an interesting unit because she kind of goes between the, the groups, so you can kind of use her as a pack mule to escort items between the two parties. So she's a bit of an interesting unit utility-wise. Uh, I do find that she is pretty weak in combat, though. Uh, she's frail, she... Thunder magic is kind of shit. It has very low stats for some reason. But, uh, yeah, she, she is a difficult unit to use, especially in Iron Man. Shade doesn't really work in this game. It works kinda, but not really. Again, if I had managed to train her and transfer her with two speed and two magic, I think she would have been a, it would have been a very different story. But now, as she is now, she helps chip a little bit, and that's pretty much about it. Pretty much. Why mage is so bad in Radiant Dawn? I don't know. They just decided to balance them this way, I guess. So, I always hate the start of this map. I can never quite remember how to play it. I think I put Nolan here in the thicket, and I think I put Edward, like, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I put Edward here, if I remember correctly. Um, since he has the steel sword, I think with 13 speed he does not double. Ah, uh, actually, he does. This guy has, loses three points of speed, so he has seven speed. So, if Edward wields the steel sword, he'll have... 11, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I think with the Steel Sword, he, he doubles exactly. He does. So, we'll place Edward right here with the Steel Sword. Why are you counting, man? So you can check ranges. I love it when people join the chat and they've never played Radiant on hard mode before and they try to give advice. Guys, it's hard mode. Ranges are disabled. Can someone... We should just put this on the screen. Like, like... I should just, I should just stream like this, guys. There we go. Alright, let's go. Maybe, maybe now I won't get this comment from every single person who joins. I'm sorry, guys. I don't mean to be rude to chat, but it's like every five minutes, there's a guy coming. You took enemy rangers' bags? Why aren't you checking enemy rangers' bags? Did you know you could check enemy rangers' bags? Like, I cannot check enemy rangers, in fact. 
All right, so I think we will... Yeah, I like to put so... You kind of have to kill guys with Soth in this chapter because there are just too many units around. So don't don't hold Soth back too hard. Like, you need to clear out enemies in this chapter. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Use your duo skill. I'm not a I'm not a pay to win unit, guys. I can't use duo skills. All right. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. He can go over here. So, if I remember correctly, I will just direct them to halt for now. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I think we can put Micaiah here to give bonuses to South. One, two, three, four, five. Just gonna make sure this guy doesn't have a hand axe. Yeah, we'll put Micaiah right here. I don't think I think the Thani weighs her down. No, it weighs one actually. Damn, that's pretty crazy. Just feel the stats. Yeah, let's just feel the stats, guys. Let's stop worrying about things and feel the stats. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, this is fine. We'll leave her here. Leonardo can be here. All right, let's go. Wait, 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 wait. I think Leonardo just got attacked. Fuck. They have six move, not five. It's fine, though. No, it's not! It's not. Well, would you look at that? Wait, that's is that a game over? It's a game over! Okay, so I made a save state um, at the start of this game, I think. To, I did it because I want to be able to retain my clear data. Wait, where is uh, where's chapter one? Again, this is this is Radiant Dawn, guys. This, this is Radiant Dawn. How do we? Um, how do I go back? How do I reset this? I should have copied. I, I forgot to copy. Oh, no. Yeah, I should have... Co oh, I should have copied. I saved over it. I'm such a moron. Oh, yeah. This is... Oh, my God. This is such a... I fucking hate this system. Why is why is why is Brady and Dawn like this? Why do you have to be careful not to lose your new game plus file? All right, we have a save here. Where's this from? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I know it's a little tainty. I know it's a little tainty, but would you guys be okay with me not playing the first chapter? Like, because we I really want to. Okay, so I'm gonna copy the file over. Are you, are you guys okay with me starting from the second chapter? Like, it would literally take me two minutes to beat chapter- Wait, what? No, 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 what are you doing? No, no, no. How do I... How do I restart chapters in this fucking game? Okay. Oh, this is the suspend, right? Uh, what? Chapter- why? Huh? Oh, that was the clear chapter. Okay, chat, chat wants me to start all over from the start to get better Edward level ups. Okay, sure. Then we won't get Peleus, though. I hope you guys are okay with that. I don't really give a shit, though. Peleus sucks. Yeah, I don't I don't really give a shit. Okay, let's just start from the start. All 
I, I don't give a shit about Peleus, guys. I really don't. No, no, no. I will get my transfers regardless, guys. Don't worry about it. We've hacked them into the game. Peleus is the dark magic user. No one cares about him. Like, I, I don't, so... No, nope, doesn't erase transfers, and it gives us a chance at better, uh, so... Alright, here we are, back again, let's start! <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Wait, what? Oh, boy, boy. All right. No dark magic. Who gives a shit? Need new game plus for battle experience? No. What are you talking about? We don't need that at all. No, I will get trying. Guys, can you listen? Oh my goodness. I feel like I say a thing and then five people go, no, no, no. We still get transfers, guys. It's fine. We still get the transfers. So the reason why we don't get Pelias is because he's a New Game Plus unit. I essentially erased my New Game Plus file. People told me to copy it. I didn't listen, because I'm dumb. Uh, so this is we're not playing New Game Plus. That means we cannot get Sephiron, we cannot get Pelias. But I really don't get care. These characters are super important and add, have minimal impact on the game. So, uh, it doesn't really matter. Kanto. <laughs> oh, yes, Kanto. Oh, shit, did I just kill Edward? Sephiroth is a Godo? Yeah, kinda is. Kinda is. Nah, they don't matter. They don't matter. All right, let's see if Edward gets a better level up this time around. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Okay, all right. Speed, strength, Edward. Speed, strength, Edward. This is the run, ladies and gentlemen. This is the run. Strength, speed, Edward. This is the run. This is the run, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Calculated reset? Kinda. I fucking hate this game. This, this game is a pile of trash. <laughs> why do they add game over mechanics to the Dorm Brigade? Like, why? Why do this? Why would they do this? It's so dumb! And I got a good Edward level up too. Oh my goodness. Did someone see the, the mischance there? Did someone see the mischance? That was like a 90% miss, right? Now he's dodging all the hits. Eighty-three hit. He missed an eighty-three hit, ladies and gentlemen. An eighty-three hit. Wow, now he's dodging everything. What the hell? With every sacrifice timeline, Edward becomes stronger. Okay, if I don't get if I don't get strength and speed on Edward again, I'm gonna be very sad. I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be very sad if he gets a shit if he gets a shit level up, I might as well just reset. Cause what what's the point without a good Edward? Come on, Edward, let's get a good strength and speed level up. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 
Okay, got a better level up. Got a much better level up. It was worth it, guys. It was worth it. This is the run. He got defense this time around. This is the run. This is the run! This is what we're talking about, ladies and gentlemen. I am going to get the best Edward in existence. I'm gonna sacrifice before I attack now. Thank you. What did I miss? Um, I died on chapter three because I put Leonardo in range of an enemy. You know, just, just Radiant Dawn things. But I am getting a ridiculously good, uh, I am getting a ridiculously good Micaiah now. No, sorry, uh, Edward, so. Let's see if we can do it again. Smoke some weed. I think we'll just pop Vulnerarius. You get so many of them anyway, it's fine. I died in the prologue, but we don't talk about that. We don't talk about that. Alright, come on, Godward. Is he gonna get another- If he gets another strength and speed level up right now, it the run is blessed. Okay, the run is still blessed. The run is still blessed. I don't care. It's- it's still blessed. Tellius. Tellius. Give Mickey love? I am doing that. Alright, we're gonna do the same thing here. I'm- I'm s Maybe we give Draco Shield to Edward? No, we give it to Nolan. We give it to Nolan. Okay, very good. Nice dodge from Edward right there. Okay, getting some lucky dodges here. That's actually pretty sweet. Here we go. And I think it's probably safe for if, if Nolan attacks here, then Mikaya can sacrifice, which is nice. Everything, every time Mangus wins on Iron Man, his hair starts to grow. Uh, Yamato got another two bucks. Season three, let's go! Ahiko Sanada got another ten bucks. Lol, just as I open stream, it's a Christmas miracle, guys. It's a, it's truly is a Christmas mir Christmas miracle. Nolan is pretty much your tank. Yep, he is pretty essential, actually. Nolan is pretty damn essential. No, I don't care about the Vulnerary, guys. The Vulnerary is... My goodness, you guys are... The Vulnerary is a meme, guys. Don't bother with it. So it can steal, like, three Vulneraries in the next chapter. It's more than you... That's more than you'll ever need, guys. More than you'll ever need. You really don't need to worry about the Vulnerary. It slows you down. It's a bit of a trap, honestly, that Vulnerary on hard mode. I really don't recommend you go for it at all. There we go. Very nice. Boom. Nice cancel, Edward. Always appreciated. <laughs> Vulnerary bros. <laughs> we got too cocky. Alright, we got it we got a good we got a good uh, we got a good groove going here, ladies and gentlemen. Got a good groove going. Edward can go deal with this guy. Finally a Mickey kill. You don't need to give Mickey kills in part one, guys. Like, she can literally just get by by sacrificing. It's fine. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, I'm gonna get a good Mikhail level up right here. Let's see. Magic speed! I got magic speed. What the hell? Nice! Nice! 
I got magic speed on Micaiah. What the hell? Oh, let's go. Critical. This is it, guys. This is the run. Okay, so we want uh, we want Nolan in front of the boss. We want Leonardo to attack here. We want Edward here, but we don't want to attack with him. No, we'll stay still. I'm gonna make Nolan over here. This this is the this is the secret right here. Could have sacrificed with him, but I think I'd rather smoke some weed on Mikaya. Here we go. This is the run. This is the run right here. Okay, very nice. Very nice. Oh, let's go. Another Edward level up. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Mm, let's go! <laughs> oh, this is the run. This is the this is the freaking run. This is the run. This is the run, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. Oh my god, I can't fucking believe this. This is crazy. Double strength and speed level up. Oh, strength and speed on Nolan as well. This is so good. This is so good. Oh my god, I love this. Okay, this is kind of scary what I'm doing right here, actually. Uh, this better hit. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh god. Okay. Whew. Yeah, we're just getting out of here. We're just getting out of here. Yep, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. No, 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 not Mikaya. The others first. The others first. Okay, we got two very good level ups here. We got two very solid level ups here on Nolan and Edward. This this is a good this is a good spread. I just need to not fucking die. Mm -mm. You don't get bonus experience on this map for escaping with all units. I think you're wrong. I think you get like five per unit. This is the run, guys. This this is the freaking run. Focus mode? I am in I am in the most focus mode I have ever been in, guys. It's the it's the freaking next trap that always gets me. I'm like I, I always underestimate how freaking frail my guys are and like units with steel axes just fucking kills. Oh, but I have an Edward that doubles now. And this is this is why Radiant Dawn hard mode is so horribly balanced. It's just impossible. Like if you don't get strength and speed, the enemies will literally just outpace you. This 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 game is insanely poorly balanced on hard mode. Alright, very nice. Careful when going quick. Ah, it's okay. It's okay. Trust me. Trust me, bro. I got this. This chapter, I think I got it down pretty well. Like, I, I know... I know roughly how to deal with this. And just for those who tuned in a little later, this is my Soth. Uh, he's transferred from Path of Radiance. He is God. He is... Literally God. He doesn't need the card to kill these guys. He can kill them with a bronze dagger. It's oh, I forgot this. Isn't there like a stealable? This guy has a stealable boner. I gotta remember that. All right, let's go over here. And I always like the little combo of like sacrificing with Mikaya and then healing with Laura. Just to, like, kind of double dip on experience. It doesn't matter much, but it can be nice sometimes, you know? Soth hit caps at level 9. The thing about the transfers is, yeah, they're only really going to make him cap sooner. But that can be good if you plan on giving him bonus experience, I guess. Max, you have to play 1-1 again. Check the battle export to see if you get some, uh, get some if allies escape. Um, I'm just gonna choose to believe that I'm right without checking sources. Ooh, this is actually a little scary. We have to heal. Again, I'm not I'm not taking a chance on Edward hitting an another 82. Especially now. Actually, he, he has good biorhythm now, so it should be fine. There we go. 
Let's go. We can do a little sacrifice here if we want to. Source, trust me, bro. Exactly. It's the best source. This is season three. <laughs> I I've died twice. Hey, Mikaya fan. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. 30% chance to get hit? No fucking way. Not risking it. Mm -hmm. Ah. There we go. Oh, no, no. This is the best angle to play at. And I'm not I'm not going anywhere near those other guys over there. I'm just not. But if I go down here with Mickey, I could probably heal her this turn, so let's do that. The ledge, like, the ledge bonuses, I find that, viable as they are, they don't protect units that are shit. Uh, they just don't. 50, 50 avoid, you think that'd be enough, but it's just not, because she still get one shot, and they still have, like, a 30% chance to hit her, which is just too much for an Iron Man. You don't want to risk that. So, it's kind of dumb, but that's just how it is. That's Radiant Dawn in a nutshell. Uh, I'm gonna put, yeah, Soth can go down here. I'm gonna leave Nolan and Edward behind here because I know we're gonna get reinforcements. Da 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 da! Why clear with Soth instead of X? I, I like to send Soth down to this chest right here. Just saves time and he can open them. I figured why not, you know? Will you train Meg? Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't count on it. It's an Iron Man run, so I'll kind of get. I'll. I'll train. I'll take what I can get. But um, which map scene is your favorite? I kind of like. I like Daybreak actually. The one that plays in the prologue is really nice. I wish it played more often. Actually. train Heather. I do actually like Heather, and I, w I, I probably might train her, because it's nice to have Steelers. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna support Heather and Braum, and I'm gonna have Braum use Disarm to disarm a bunch of enemies, and then... Wow, I can't believe he got hit through ledge there. What the fuck? I'm going to, tr I'm going to support Heather and Braum, and I'm going to have Braum run around and disarm people, and then I'm gonna have Heather steal their shit. All right, another Nolan level up. Let's go. Hit points, skill, speed, and defense. Let's go, Nolan and Edward, bros. We we are so back. We are so back. We are so freaking back, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God, Leonardo level up. Can you please get HP and defense? I don't care if you get strength and speed. Okay, okay, all right. I like that. That's cool. That's cool. Good archer, let's go. I mean, strength speed is actually not terrible, though. I mean, I like it, though. I like it. Is Leo good? No. But he can become less trashy if he gets good strength and speed, which he might get. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I, I, would, I won't hold out for anything, but we can always hope. Did you know there is an unreleased soundtrack of Gaiden in Radiant Dawn? Yeah, I've heard it. It's good. Okay, I am actually banking on Edward hitting now, which is... Okay, never mind. That's good. That's good. Oh, I'm so glad I'm getting a good Edward. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You got the snowball rolling. Keep rolling. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Let's go. We didn't get speed, but it doesn't matter. 10 strength Edward. This is amazing. This is amazing. I think we give him the energy drop. I think we give him the energy drop, guys. 
I, I think he's worthy of the energy drop right now. I I think he, he deserves it. And just to be safe here, I'm popping the Lunarary. I think you're sleeping on Leonardo a bit. <laughs> I'm not reading the rest of that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, comedians in chat. All non do donated 10 bucks to Super Chat. Thanks for the countless hour of content, Egg. Thank you. Thank you for watching my countless hours of content, Egg Enjoyer. Ah. Oh. My fiance makes the best eggs and bacon. She makes them so good. It's like uh, she she makes the bacon very crispy, and then she 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 makes the eggs. No, she makes the bacon, and then she puts the eggs af in afterwards, and she puts like a lot of spices on it. It's so good, so good. Cannibal egg, yes, haha. -ha. Egg eat egg, funny. Let's go over here. I think my Edward might one run this archer now. No, okay, not quite, but, but close, but close. Um, ba -da -ba -dum, ba -da -ba -dum. Does the emulator crash with Radiant Dawn as much as- No, Radiant- It's much nicer with Radiant Dawn. And with Radiant- This is because Radiant Dawn is better coded. It runs smoother. Whereas Path of Radiance, for some reason, it- Like, you see, it runs just fine. Egg eat egg world. Let's go. Alright, let's see. Can we, at the very least, get some ship experience out of this? We should be able to. Oh my god, he one-shots Leonardo. For fuck's sake. Mmm, ice cream so good. Oh! Oh no, I picked up too much shit. I picked up too much shit. I guess we're discarding the chest key. We don't really need it. Yeah, we gotta be more careful with our inventory management here. Much more careful. So I think we will just let Mikaya murder this guy. So we'll go like this. And then we'll just use the Thani. Boom. Don't kill the boss? Why not? XP abuse? Uh, I don't... Nah, nah, I don't feel like doing that. I know you could make him drink his Vulnerary, which is nice. Hit. Oh, I got defense on Mikaya. Let's go. Let's go. I got defense on Mikaya. That's crazy. Let's go. I'll just milk whatever experience I can here. Laura level up. Let's go. Maybe HP. That'd be nice. Everything but HP. Okay. Alright. You know what? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Eddie, you've deserved this. You deserve this. Truly, you do. Truly, you do. You do. He deserves it. He, he, he gets the energy drop. He can now use steel swords without weighing way down, and he has, he has 14 speed. This is so good. This is so fantastic. I love this. This is great. All right, we are we have made it back to where we dropped off, ladies and gentlemen. Chapter 1.3. Um, this is where we need to be a little bit more careful. Should we do a meme break before we start this chapter? I agree. L l let's do a meme break before we start on this chapter. I agree. We gotta relax with some memes. Ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da-ba-da
use the yellow player as a decoy. I don't like doing this, actually. Because I'd rather attack them on enemy face rather than have them soak up enemies. Alright. Let's do some Radiant Dawn memes, ladies and gentlemen. I look very high in this still. Very high. <laughs> Good job, Mikaya. <laughs> oh. Poor Peleus. What a shitty unit. Do 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 do. Ba -da -da -dum, da -da -da -dum, da -dum. Sorry, I'm just downloading some more memes before we continue. Uh, Canadian Samurai, I cannot open movie files. You're going to have to upload it as a YouTube video and send it to me. But you have to make sure that there's no copyrighted music. You have to make sure there's no copyrighted music. I love it. You get a speed of strike. You get a speed of strike. You get a speed of strike. <laughs> uh, which of these games is the absolute worst in 2023? The day before, Reboot Camp, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Gollum. Gollum. Actually, Gollum is the worst. There is actually no contests. I have seen people try to play Gollum. It is so bad. Gollum is, was such a bad game that the developers had an apology prepared the day it released. Literally. They had an apology prepared in advance. That's how she... I have never seen that before. They were like, sorry that we released this game. But please buy the extended Hyper Edition. Yeah, they posted an apology on Twitter. They were like, sorry, this game sucks. And the apology seemed a very AI too, yeah. What the fuck? The egg wish you a Merry Christmas? This is cursed. I love this image, yeah. So, so dodging. <laughs> very true. Oh wow, your Brom after Clash, holy shit. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Alright, let me double check to see if there's any memes that I missed. Nope. No memes. Stoner Manx. There we go. Okay, guys, let's play some Radiant Dawn, man. Oh, man, this game is too fucking horror, man. Oh, my God. I don't know how, how I play this fucking game, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> Me after playing Radiant Dawn and restarting three times. All right. Okay. So let's try not to get Leonardo killed immediately this time, shall we? Uh, let's try to be a bit more careful. I still think this is a good opener. Whoa. Where is Godward? He is he is godding along very nicely. He is godding along just fine, ladies and gentlemen. He is doing great. Uh, so I think what I might do... My Nolan is pretty damn good right now, so I might just place him here. And then 
Yeah, I think I can place Nolan right here, and then we'll put Mikaya here, close to Soth. Oh, I forgot to order. Uh, they'll stay there, right? I hope so. Wait, you can- no, you can still order, actually, even after her turn. A very good mechanical improvement, for sure. Yeah, and we'll be a little bit more careful this time around. Yeah, one, one, two, three. Yeah, this is fine. By rhythm, gonna murder Nolan. He'll be fine. But you can see the Draco Shield in this chapter is where you really feel the Draco Shield, in my opinion. Because there's so many enemies here. But look at my Edward. Look at this Edward. Look at this Edward. Look at this Edward. Oh, let's go. Oh my god, I love Edward. When Edward gets rolling, it is so much more it is so much fun. Nice, Dorky. Is Iron any good? We're gonna talk about him when I recruit him. I have some things to say about him. If there's one thing I actually hate about Radiant Dawn, oh yeah, there he is, Aaron. If there's one thing I hate about, you gotta be very careful. So he has a javelin, luckily. So so it's not so like super likely to kill him, but you still gotta be a little careful. But this is what I. This is like one good aspect of the Thani, I guess. Um, like Thani actually do see some use on this map, which is nice. Remember to steal the boss. Oh yeah, he has a skill, doesn't he? Uh, I don't remember. I don't think it's like a very good skill if I remember correctly, but he does have a skill scroll if I remember correctly. Yeah, he's discipline. Ah, uh, this is okay. You can't use it for a Lagoose, which is what it would have been good for. But it is there, I guess, if you wanna. Alright, so I think what I'm gonna do here is I will... I kinda need to heal Nolan, so I'll, I'll back up and use the Hand Axe. Hope I hit. Here we go. And I kind of need to heal up both of these guys, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use first... Oh, never mind. So you want to be kind of careful here. Most of these guys, like one, two, three, four, five, six... Yeah, so here, for example, Laura is in danger, so you got to rescue her, I think. Um... Yeah, so here Laura is in danger, because this guy's got six moves. One, two, three, four, five, six, and I'm pretty sure she dies. Let's see, so she has 16, so yeah, she has 18 total HP. This guy does, yeah, so she dies. Kind of annoying, but that's Radiant Dawn for you. It's very annoying. It's very annoying. Like, you got so many squishies in the Dawn Brigade. Who would have benefited so much more from just having one or two extra points of HP and defense? And it would have, would have made the early game so much more bearable. But again, they didn't test hard mode at all. Keep Nolan, 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 Nolan. Keep Nolan, Nolan. Wow. An enemy that so does not one round. Impressive. Yeah, here's Aaron. We can recruit him next turn. Kill for Leonardo. Did I get a good level up with Leonardo? I I I don't remember. Uh, problem is with Leonardo, he's carrying Laura. So. Ba ba ba. I think we might have to use Iliana here if we want to. Uh, yeah, we have to use Iliana. Oh, Thunder still kill. Thunder still kills my emulator. What is it with thunder spells and killing emulators? That's interesting. Oh shit, I can't recruit Nolan this turn. No, I can't. Sorry, Aaron. I can steal his. That's kind of funny. Um, I'll just wait, I think. Yeah, I'll just wait. I need to drop off Laura here. Oh, that hit rate is garbage. What the hell? That hit rate is absolute garbage. Nice crit, let's go. 
Why not steal? Good point, actually. Could have stolen. Should have stolen, I guess. I got a little worried when he ran to the right. Wait, is he out of range of Laura? You better not be out of range of Laura, you little shit. Be careful with sacrifice. I'll be careful. <laughs> okay, he, he didn't run out of range. Okay, that's good. Hi, Aaron. All right, let's talk about Aaron, shall we? There's Aaron. So Aaron is a unit that a lot of people really like because he's a soldier and it's just a class that people are really endeared to. I will say one thing about Aaron. If you train him, he becomes an absolute tank. 70% defense is kind of bonkers. I do find that he's a little too slow, though. With 10 base speed and a 35% speed growth, he's more statted like an armor knight than a soldier, really. And, uh, yeah, sure. I mean, my problem with Aaron is that he gets wrecked by mages, and he also isn't quite bulky enough to tie. Like, the enemies scale a little too fast for him. Like, in order for him to reach his potential, he needs experience. In order for him to get experience, he needs kills. And with shitty speed, that's kind of hard to do. Again, if you train him up, he's kind of decent. But he's hard to train, in my, uh, particularly on hard mode. On normal mode, he, he snowballs crazily, but on hard mode, it's tough to train him at all. So... But yeah, his speed is a problem. Enemies just scale a little too fast for him. He will sadly get doubled at some point. Uh, is it nice to have another tank? Yes. Um, it, it is nice to have another tank. But you'll be you'll be hard pressed to get anything out of him, in my opinion. I feel like I'm biased since this is like the character I would be. A lot of people really like Nolan. I get it. I do. Um, sorry, not Nolan. Uh, Aaron. He's got a pretty cool design. He's a soldier. He's just he's just a dude. He's not like a ninja like South. He's just kind of like a regular guy, which a lot of people really like. But again, on hard mode, almost every single Dawn Brigade character gets shafted hard. That's just how it is. Now, this is a pretty tricky part of the game. This this particular part right here, I really don't like it. We gotta be a little bit careful about the boss. Um, in this situation, it kind of makes sense for Mikaya not to be supporting Soth, because we don't want Soth to kill the boss. So we want to be very cautious here and move forward very slowly until we pull the boss. We're keeping Leonardo far in the back, that's for sure. Here comes the boss. Sulf might just kill him anyway, because he's got transfers. Uh, it depends. No, we're good. Okay, I think this is fine. Uh, I think we can... So, we can try and steal his shit? I don't know if Edward can kill him, though. I would be... Yeah, it's not... I mean, his avoidance is actually pretty damn good, so we might be good here. Let's see. What if Aaron attacks him with a javelin? Yeah, he doubles Aaron. Go figure. If Edward attacks, Nolan might be able to finish the job, but we do... We will require Edward to dodge. But we'll try. We'll try. I mean, we got a good Edward. Okay, nice. Now we just need Nolan to kill. And we're in a good spot. Guys, I know about the yellow units. Don't worry. We'll, we'll make them come after us. This is a tough map. This is a very challenging map. Smash that like button. Okay, let's go, Chuck Norris. Chuck Nolan, let's go. Hit points. Magic? Skill speed unlock. Okay, he's getting speed. I'm happy with that. 13 speed Nolan. 14 speed Edward. I am very pleased with this. This is nice. This is nice. Bum, 
Bum, bum, bum, bum, bum, bum, bum, bum, bum, bum, bum, bum, I think there are some units that attack us from behind in this chapter, so we do have to be a little cautious. Nolan has the growths of our Myrmidon. Yeah, kind of does. It's kind of funny, actually. Do you appreciate the rise in challenge from Path of Radiance to Radiant Dawn? I mean, yeah, I like Radiant Dawn, actually. It's, it's a very good challenge every time I... No. No, 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 no. No, this isn't happening. Oh, thank God. No! Please be careful. Oh my goodness. Oh my fucking goodness. Oh my fucking god, that nearly gave me a heart attack. Oh. Not after everything we've been through, Gabe. This would have been such a shitty way to end it. Oh my goodness. Oh! This game. This fucking game. Please kill him, Leonardo. I need I need the bush. Please. Please. Okay, nice. He cancelled him. Sweetie, could you bring me a Pepsi? And would you mind opening the window? The one behind, yeah, behind me. Thank you, sweetie. Ugh, oh, so nice to have a Pepsi Max dispenser living in the house. A, a wonderful fiance living in the house that I care and respect deeply as a person. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. Yeah, sure. I appreciate you as a person. You are more... Okay, so you got a... It's, it's a bit of an IQ test. What? I just said it's... I just said it was an IQ test. <laughs> Woman smart. Alright, so we got the... Uh, we got... <laughs> uh, let's look, look out for stealables here. We got a hand axe here. Be nice. I am nice to her. She knows. She knows I'm nice. Ain't I nice, sweetie? Oh, she's choking. <laughs> Save. Uh, I, I don't get crashes anymore, so I think I'm fine, really. So I'd like to find a bomb here, but we gotta be very, very careful. Uh, hmm. We can still find a bomb, even. Uh, we could probably just light him. Yeah, we'll just light him like this. There we go, another Mikhail level up. Let's go. Hit points, skill, speed, luck, and resistance. Let's go, let's go. Speed on Mikhail. She's still slow as balls, but it helps. Oh, okay. All right, okay, okay, all right. Silt is pissed off, I get it. Hmm. Is it safe to let Nolan I don't think we want to let Edward go first here, actually. No, I don't I don't I don't uh, we can leave him in the bush maybe. Hmm. What? Hey! Leave Silt behind to protect. I think allied units move before red units, right? So, oh shit, Laura. Oh no, I gotta have to. Sh I have to shove Edward back now. They do. Okay, yeah, good. Run, 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 run. Oh shit, he had a javelin, right. Should have equipped the hand axe. Yeah, I sorry, I forgot he had a javelin. <laughs> I forgot he had a javelin. Don't forget that shields work in this game, not for decoration. I kinda like how the how the soldiers like block with their shields when they it's a nice little touch. It, it looks cool. Alright, Edward, can you one-run archers yet? 
Not quite. Ugh, enemies in this game are so fast. I fucking hate it. Anything stealable here? Yeah, there's a Vodunary. It's a nice little vulnerary. I think Nolan can probably tank this hallway on his own if he does a healing, so that's nice. Staff level up, let's go. Oof. So I think I will tell Kurth to just stay. Yeah, I will tell Kurth to just stay where he is, because he's actually in a really nice position right now. And we'll just use the light spell to kill the archer. There we go. It's confusing when it says miss. A little bit. A little bit. But I think it's fine, really. It's fine. Okay, one, two, three. This guy. There's only one guy. He can go... For, he doesn't double Edward, does he? 14 speed. We're good, ladies and gentlemen. We're good. We're good. Nolan has a Draco shield pinned to his chest, yeah. Kurth is ridiculously tanky. Kurt Naga. He takes three damage from enemies. He's actually solid. What do you think about the upgrade to Vulnerace? I love it. There's a reason I put it in Andron Saga. Yeah, look, he just blocked with the shield. That's funny. Give Aaron some experience. I don't know about that. I don't oh, that's a, that's a Vulnerace I can steal. Oh, hi. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I really don't. I'm not a fan of Aaron, I'm gonna be completely honest. I think he's kinda bad. I would be very surprised. I would be very surprised if we get a good uh if we get a good Aaron. It just statistically doesn't happen very often. Alright, let's go, Edward, let's go. Oh let's go! 13 strength godward, ladies and gentlemen, and 7 defense. This is the run. This is the freaking run. Right here. This guy's got a steel lance, that's fine. Boom, boom. I'm okay with defense soldiers, but if I ever need a defense unit, I should stick to armor knights or generals. Yeah, soldiers are supposed to be faster. But I feel like Aaron might as well just be an armor knight. It's kind of dumb. But that's how he is. Second wave of reinforcements soon. Where do they come from again? I, I forget. Do you guys remember where they come from? Do they come from the back? There. <laughs> oh, that's funny. My soul is strong enough to steal javelins. <laughs> this is what you get when you transfer soul. Oh, that's hilarious. He's normally not strong enough to steal these things, but because I have a transferred soul, I can go around stealing weapons. Wait, is he... Oh my god, I can steal hand axes. This is hilarious. I never considered how much better soul becomes with a strength transfer, considering he can steal more. That is actually hilarious. I love it. That is so funny. He can run around and steal hand axes and other items. Oh, he can steal. I mean, he can steal more things with the transfer, though. That's the thing. He can steal more things with the transfer than he otherwise could. Oh, he can steal without transfers. Okay, maybe I'm just stupid. I still think it's funny, though. I still think it's funny. Alright, we have mostly melee weapons here. This is fine. So we can equip the steel. Oh, I just I just realized something. We can sacrifice Kurth. That's funny. Again, you can get a lot of experience this way, although 
You have to be a little bit careful with the seal stuff. I don't remember when you get another one. Is it next chapter? Use the healing bushes to experience abuse with sacrifice. I don't need to, though. I can just heal. Paint of Dawn. Which is the next chapter again? I forget. You can use iron to rescue an uh, Amy and Co Oh, that's a good. That's funny, actually. Yeah, no, now I get it. So what you do is you you put Kurth in front, and then you just train sacrifice him on a healing bush. Yeah, now I see, now I see. That's kind of funny. I don't know if I want to do it, though. It's funny. I don't know if I really want to do it, if I'm going to be completely honest. Like, you're gonna cap out Mikaya anyway, I find. It doesn't really matter. Like, I get it, I get it. It's fun to taint. Uh, let's see, still adds. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can, I can see the appeal in it. It will take some time, though. So yeah, you essentially put Kurth in front, and then you put a heal you put Mikai in a healing bush, and then you just chain Ah, it's a bit chasey. I don't know if I like it. Look at this fucking man. Okay, I think what we'll do is we'll kill one of them with Soth, and then we'll kill the other one with Guardward. Pretty nice, pretty nice. What about the steel sword? He oh my god. This is fantastic. This next part is a little tricky, though. One, two, three, four, five, six. This next part is a little, little bit tricky, because there's, like, longbows and stuff here, which I really don't like. Spends 100 turns dancing with the race, and it's a bit tricky. I was desperate, okay? Chat, I was desperate. I'm sorry, I was desperate. I really wanted to beat Path of Radiance. I was willing to resort to the taintiest of taints. I wasn't proud of it, but it was necessary to beat the final chapter, okay? The longbow doesn't move. I, I He will move... Uh, actually, no, you're right. He won't. Ooh, let's go. Speed on Laura. I like it. And HP, too. That's really nice, actually. That is really nice. Okay, so... Alright, so let me see. Uh, this guy has one, two, three, four, five... Okay, so, okay. <laughs> I just want to see if it can be done. So we'll pick up... Where's Amy? There, We'll pick up Amy. And we'll command... Kurt to go here, pulling the enemies towards us. I'm not saying I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna... I'm just gonna see if it's possible. Okay, then we'll use Kurt to pull in these guys. This is kind of funny, using Kurt like this, pulling in the enemies. And then we'll put him... We'll put him here. Steal the hand axe, let's do that. Yeah, I agree. All right, let, let, let's see if we can do it. <laughs> let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can do it. We put put Kurth right here. <laughs> oh shit, that guy's a hand axe. Yeah, we gotta steal it. Okay, that come. Okay, now comes the Myrmidon too. And then we'll do like this. Wait, why can't? Oh, he's got too many items. He's got too many items. Let's uh, dump off some items like so. Oh no, we should have stolen the hand axe. Oh, no. This guy... Okay. Okay, we got it set up. Okay. Not quite, though. Not quite, though. We need... It's not quite ready. It's not quite ready. We gotta put... My... Ooh, let's go. Let's go. Oh! 
Oh shit, he's got a hand axe. You're right. Uh oh. Oh, then it work. Then it won't work anymore. Yeah. Oh my god. You're right. You're right. Holy shit. Uh yeah. Fuck. Uh Yeah, no 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 no. No no no. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I agree. Thank you for thank you for point. Yeah. Whoo. That was scary. Let's not do that again. And here comes the Myrmidon instead. Okay. So what we do now is... This is a bit of a tricky situation, actually. We need to... We need to kill the Hand Axe guy. How are we going to do this? Is it safe to send Edward over here? Absolutely not. I, fuck this shit, man. I don't think this is worth it. You're fine here? Oh, I am actually. You're right. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. I am fine here. This is a good point, actually. I am not fine any... Okay, maybe the hand axe guy goes like this now. Unequip self? I don't think they'll go for self. I don't think they'll go for so. Okay, no, actually they will. Um, <laughs> okay, if I send Kurth over here. Shove. Well, who, who should I shove though? Just sacrifice it. Yeah, but I want Micaiah in the bush. That's the thing. That's the, that's the missing piece of the puzzle. That's the missing piece of the puzzle right here. I don't like this crit. Really don't like this crit. Yeah, Mikai needs to be in the bush for this to work. That's the thing. I just want—I just want to see if it can be done. I—I I, I will not tank that much. I, <laughs> I promise. Okay, he'll go for Kurth, I think, not Nolan, because Nolan can attack back. Yeah. Okay. Okay. They'll. Okay. He'll continue to do this. This is good. Okay. So then we'll do this. <laughs> what about Micaiah's bush? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! This is crazy! This is crazy! Oh my goodness! Alright. And then we direct Kurth over here. We need a little bit of a shove, just a tiny bit of shoving. Uh, we need to do. No, yeah. So he'll go here. Which means that the Myrmidon will run up here. Because he won't be able to kill... Well, we probably shouldn't equip the Wing Edge. He'll go here. Myrmidon goes here. Micaiah goes here. And that's how we set it up. There we go. Okay. And now he'll go for Kurt. Yes! Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We got it. We got it, ladies This is... This is... <laughs> we got it, ladies and gentlemen. We got it. This is, this is the magic. This is the magic right here. He cannot do shit now. He doesn't have a ranged weapon. He'll continue to attack Kurt. And Micaiah will be healed by the bush. Like so. She'll heal one HP by the... <laughs> she actually does not out-heal the damage. <laughs> She doesn't out-heal the damage with her passive healing. This is funny. This is really funny. So yeah, you can, in theory, you can cap Mikaya out doing this. If Kurt doesn't die first, that is. Of course, you can only get her to level 20. Like, there, you can't go further than that. I'll give her one level doing this. That's as much as I'm gonna do. We're, we're gonna give her one level doing this, and that is as much as we're gonna do. Actually, uh, this can't go on forever, because he'll break his sword. Yeah, you can't actually- yeah, he only has 31 attacks left, so... You cannot do more than 300 experience this way, I'd say? 400 experience? We can get four levels out of this. So, 
so no matter how much you want to do this, it doesn't last forever. Uh, you can always pull in another enemy, I guess, so you can do it with all remaining enemies. But it's still pretty dumb. No, I'm not gonna do two levels of this, are you crazy? I'll give her one level doing this, just to honor the method. Just to show that it can be done, and then we'll move on. Even better if Mikaya had renewal. Yeah, then she'd recover two HP per turn instead of one. Oh my god. You will need those two levels? I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. Mikaya's awful. Yeah, I'm even training Laura a little bit here. It's not bad. Oh no, he... Kurt, you're not supposed to dodge. What the hell? At least it gives Mikaya another point of HP, am I right? You can also shoot him a bit with Leo. Ah, that's not a bad point, actually. Yeah, I can. You know, just to get a, maybe a level on Leo would be nice. I mean, I could just always send Kurt down, pull up another guy, and repeat the process, which is kind of hilarious. But no, I'm not going to do that. I love Mikaya. She's one of my favorite protagonists. Well, it's good that there's one person in chat that likes him. Okay, let me hear, uh, let me hear it, guys. How many people like Mikaya? Say yes if you like her, no if you don't. All right, here we go. Mikaya level. Magic, skill, luck, and resistance. A very Mikaya level up, but it's fine. Yes, no, no. I said chat is pretty mixed on her. Oh no, hell no. What is up with these crit rates? Mm -mm -mm. She is unique. I will. I will give her that. She. She is one of the more unique main characters. But that unique doesn't always mean good. Sadly. Anyway, we got we got some enemies to clear up here. I'm pretty sure my Nolan is tanky enough to tank here, so this should be fine. La 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 la. Morning, Mengs. Grats some beating FV9. Oh my God, Nora Nolan is Nolan is one rounding now. What the fuck? He's one rounding now. Again, this part of the map is a bit of an arduous grind. Uh, level 4 Laura. Magic, skill, resistance. Not bad. Not bad. Oh! What the? Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa! What the fuck did I do? Did I command? Oh my god, I commanded. Holy shit. Oh! Okay, calm down. Calm down. Oh! What was that? That, that scared me. I don't know why that happened. There's a hidden coin on this map. Where? Is it here? Or is it here? I don't remember. One, two, three, four, five, six. What's your opinion on Mikaya? I think that she is an interesting concept, but she, she checks a few too many Mary Sue flags for me. Um... I think that they tried very... I think one of the most egregious aspects of Mikaya's character is that she is a branded, which is a huge mark of shame in Talia's society, and yet there is almost... I don't think she ever suffers because of it. Yeah, sure, she's like, oh, I had to leave self behind, blah, blah, blah. But in the story, she is never... I don't think she ever faces any hardship due to being branded. Everyone just fucking loves her. And this is kind of a, a stark contrast. Yeah, I know she hides it, but it, it's it, it's in stark contrast to Seljus and Soren, who have lived lives of suffering because of being branded. Whereas Mikaya is kind of just worshipped. Uh, I don't. She uses her powers in public, and I don't think anyone like chastises her over it. It's like they just think it's kind of cool that she has the powers. Whereas Seljus and Soren. They've kind of like lived isolated lives of suffering because of their brand of nature, and Mikaya seemingly never suffers because of it. It just feels a little weird to me. I feel like there's a good op opportunity here to give Mikaya some legit suffering, but because she is a uh, Mary Sue, 
everyone kind of just she gets very like everyone kind of just loves her again she she does check a lot of mary sue boxes she's pretty she has special power she doesn't have any flaws she never really faces any real hardship So, I, I find that Mikaya, she had more potential, I think, as a character. I feel like demonstrating how how terribly branded are treated in Birok society would have been a better, better route for her arc, I think. Yeah, she also ends up being the super chosen child of destiny, by the way. Another Marisu trope. She ends up being the sister of Sanaki, the true apostle. Sanaki is the fake apostle. Mikaya is the true apostle. So Mikaya is super pretty, has special powers, looks unique, everyone loves her, and she's the chosen one. And people like to argue that she's not a Mary Sue. Of course she's a Mary Sue. She's literally a, the... She's literally cringe yourself insert the character. It's not even a question in my mind. All right, we got 20 damage here. This is fine. Oh, there is an archer here, though. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is fine. She had potential if she was written better. Soren has his brand in the head, impossible to hide it. Seljus has this in the back, impossible to hide it in the army. Mikaya, yeah, so this is true, but they could have just not put the brand on her hand. Like, she should have had the brand in her face. I think it would have been made for a much better character. She should have had the brand on her left cheek, and she should have worn, like, a mask or something. I think that would have actually been really cool. I think that would have given her a lot more debt, and the fact that she would constantly have to hide her branded appearance from people. She's seen as a bit of a hero, but she's terrified of people. I think this would have worked better for her. That's all. All right, I'm gonna Thani Bomb this guy. Just gonna make sure he doesn't have anything stealable. There's a Vulnerary here that we can get if we want to. Uh, I think I am going to... Let's see, we got 13 HP. I think I'm just actually just gonna rescue here. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill this guy. I, the Vulnerary is nice, but you get so many of them, it's fine. Is this the start of a new playthrough? I failed twice, but yes, it is the start of a new playthrough. Can you guys... Do you guys remember where the coin is? Tell me where the coin is, guys. Where is the coin? Is it literally on the escape tile? I, I seem to remember something of the sort. Behind the archer, like right here? Okay, I'll go get him. Who's a better unit, Mikaya or Lin? Ah, good question, actually. Uh, I think Mikai... Ah, it's difficult to compare the two, it really is. It's tricky to compare them. Because they're both kind of shit. Ah, uh, I'd probably have to say Lin. Yeah, I'd probably have to say Lin, I think. Lin is frail and annoying, but at least she doesn't get one shot by a bunch of things in the early game. Alright, direct. Let's tell the green units to escape so we get some bonus experience. And there's the coin, right? Yep, there we go. I do have a shit ton of coins, but I don't get them until the Grail Mercenaries. I got like 12 coins or something that I got transferred over, so we'll have a lot of coins, which is nice. They don't escape? You're wrong. And you do get bonus experience for having them escape. At least you get it for- I, you get it for- you get bonus experience for having them survive, at least. I don't know if you get extra for- I think you get extra for having them escape. Coins allows you to add a random bonus to a forge. It's usually not very consequential. There are some really good bonuses you can get, like three might. And I think there's like one that gives plus two to everything, which is nice. Uh, most of the time it just gives one might or five hit. 
Yeah, there you go. Uh, you get 100, yeah, 50 per unit escaped and 100 per survival. So it's actually pretty nice. It's actually pretty nice. Mm -mm -mm. Is this where we get battle preps? I think this is where we, yeah, I think this is where we get battle preps. Yes! Oh, I love Radiant Dawn battle preps. It's the best. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Oh. Oh, this is so cool. You met. You met all. Oh my god, this is a cool video. I'm gonna. So someone met Oliver's voice actor and had him read lines. That's really cool. Enemy is gonna be quipping in their roots once, boots once this MF shows up. Yeah, my wrist is gonna be crazy. I, I look forward to meeting him. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Dun 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 this is how I'm going to stream from now on, if you guys don't stop asking dumb questions. I'm just gonna have this constantly on the overlay, from start to finish. <laughs> Check range. <laughs> well, it ended up good. It, end, it ended up alright in the end. Fun facts with Squidward. In Radiant Dawn, you can't see the movement of your enemies. Yes. Huh? Business. I don't. I don't understand. I don't get this meme. So probably some YouTuber, I imagine. What? Who is this guy? Baseball player? Yeah, I guess. Weird. <laughs> yes, lit literally what happened. Except Kurtnaga doesn't have a gun. All right, so we're gonna watch a video here, sending from Canadian Samurai. I am Oliver, champion of beauty. You would harm my precious feathered angels? That makes you my enemy, unsightly man. Prepare yourself. <laughs> that is so good. Holy shit, that is so good. Oh. His voice is so good. That's amazing. His voice is legit amazing. One of my favorites. All right. In town. Let's get the merchants. There we go. The two brothers. Skip, 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 skip. All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, all right. Here she is. Here she is. Meg. The joke unit of Radiant Dawn. So there is a developer interview that you can look up. Um, where the developers talk about, you know, kind of the... The units in Radiant Dawn, and they were straight up asked, is, is, was Meg added to the game as a joke? And the developer said yes. She is a joke character. She was always meant to be a joke character. She sucks. Her stance is shit. Her stance are shit. What she does have, she kind of the opposite of Aaron, which is kind of funny. Like, Aaron is a soldier who is slow, but he has a shit in of defense. Meg is an armor knight, a sword armor knight, I might add the Arden class, who has a lot of speed and luck, and more rest than she has defense. She is she is a joke unit. They made her as a joke unit. 
Now, you can use the joke unit. You can train her because you can make any unit good in Fire Emblem with enough investment. But she's not very good. Armor Knight with a 35% defense score. Now, should I try and use her for memes? Sure, we can try. Uh, it's probably not going to work. She's probably going to die. But I think we've reached a point where we no longer get game overs, so we're kind of past the worst hurdle. Um, but we can start supporting people together now, which is really nice. Uh, we're going to do... So I think we're going to do Edward Nolan. I like Edward Nolan a lot. I think that they work really well together. Uh, I think we're do... Oh, Iron Iliana can support. We might as well just do it. Both of those units are units that aren't really... We could do Leonardo Laura. I think I'll do that. We'll do... We'll do Nolan Edward. This is a great... This is a great pairing, in my opinion. Gives good bonuses to defense, hit, and avoid. We'll do Iron Iliana. And then we'll do Leonardo Laura. I think that's a decent combo. We have Discipline. I don't really know who to put it on. I'm going to be completely honest. Um, I don't really know who needs it. Mikaya, maybe? Uh, Norlin already has A rank. Edward already has B rank. Leonardo has D rank. Aaron has D rank. Meg has C rank. Hmm. You can't put it on Volug. I'd say probably Mikaya. It would be nice if we could give her Purge. So let's put... We, you can you can un, you can equip and unequip skills, so it's not really a big deal anyway. Um, you could also take Ileana's Shade off her and put it on Mikaya. I don't really think it does much, but it's something that you can do if you want. Yes, let's forge something, ladies and gentlemen. So, what are we forging? Uh, I personally like to forge either an axe for Nolan or a sword for Edward. I think both work. I think Edward is so strong now, he might not need a sword. Nolan might benefit more. You could also forge a 1-2 range knife for Soth, which is actually not bad at all. I think we will let chat decide. So... I will give you guys an option, I think. I so, you can decide, guys. We'll do a poll. You can decide. Between Sword for Edward. Axe for Nolan. Knife for Soth. Sword for Edward slash Meg. We can do that. If we're going to use Meg, we might as well. And then, uh, no, I'm not going to put Bo and Leonardo there, because if I do that, you guys will definitely put it vote, vote there. So let's see. And of course, we'll do the Forge game. You guys love the Forge game, don't you? All right, so it looks like it's a sword. Yeah, 59% says sword, so that is pretty much a done deal. Alright, fortune game, you know the rules. Suggest forge names. We're doing an Iron Sword, ladies and gentlemen. Alright. Five, four, three, two, one, and... <laughs> Mangs. <laughs> okay. Uh, Alright. Yeah, so we're gonna forge a sword called Mangs. We'll add some might on it. A little bit of hit is always nice. We could add three points of crit to it. That's fine. Seven weight is fine. We'll make it red.
And we'll use the coin. Alright. Doesn't matter what you pick here, the result is predetermined. Oh, that's orange. I think that's plus one damage? Yeah, that's okay. So, we got the worst one, but it's fine. Meg is gonna die if we put it on her. She's gonna die <laughs> if we put it on her. You guys know it's true. Oh shit, we gotta buy, uh, we gotta buy for, we gotta buy a staff for Laura. Uh, we could also get a, we need to get a bronze knife for Soph. Uh, and we also need to get... Bronze Axe, honestly, very good for Nolan. For those times where he really needs to hit. And honestly, an Iron Axe, too, for when he... Put Cancel on Edward. That's actually a great idea. That's actually a great idea. For once, chat has good ideas. What can we get here? Yeah, we can get the Beast Killer, actually. Uh, which I would actually recommend. If we're going to do this, though, we need to sell something. But I actually agree with the... Um, the Beast Killer is actually a very good uh, item to get here. But we need to sell something. I think we'll sell the Door Key. And some herbs. I think you can equip Cancel on Edward, actually. Um, but yeah, she needs... Some, she, she badly... I kind of want to buy the men's staff that's on sale, not gonna lie. Uh, it is It gives so much more experience, which is nice for leveling up Laura, but we'll have to sell another herb. Herbs are kind of shit, though. No one really likes herbs, so... I think I'm gonna actually buy the men's staff, because it gives so much more experience, and Laura's magic is kind of shit, so... And it has, like, 20 uses, so I think it's fine. Sell Meg... Oh! Yeah, so, <laughs> Meg's fortune skill is actually not bad. But, uh, let's see, Edward has how much capacity? He has 15, and, uh, Leonardo's cancel is 10. So, yeah, if you you can take cancel off Leonardo and actually put it on Edward. And Edward uses it really well. This is actually a really good advice. Edward uses cancel way better than Leonardo ever could. He has the skill, he doubles, and not being counterattacked is actually fantastic. So, it's actually really nice. Shade is also a skill that I would consider putting on Mikaya. I think it's worth 5 points. No, it's worth 10 points. Uh, we could also put Shade on Laura. Although it doesn't really help, because they'll still, uh, they still go for her if they can kill. Hmm. Ah. How did Meg end up in Dane? I don't know. I think she walked, because she, she wanted to marry Seahawk. I think she literally came here to marry Seahawk, because Brom promised... Brom pro promised that Meg would marry him, so Meg came all the way here to see Seahawk. It's kind of funny. Alright, we need to see who needs... Uh, I like to have my Volderary at the bottom. I know it's a bit silly, but I, th I think it looks better. Uh, we have two Volderaries actually here, so let's put one on you. Alright. I think we're good. Yep, we're good. How much speed does Mickey have? Uh, I can show you the stats of my units real quick for those who just tuned in. Mikai is alright, 10 speed. Silt is fucking crazy. Because I transferred him. Ileana hasn't leveled. Nolan is crazy good. Laura has gotten 4 levels, which is nice. Edward is crazy good. Leonardo has gotten like 1 good level, I think. Iron kinda sucks. Meg kinda sucks. This is also a big problem with Meg's, um, joining chapter. As you'll very soon see, this is an awful chapter to have Meg join in, because it's full of tigers who will murder her. This is a really difficult chapter, actually. 
Very, very easy to lose units here. Uh, this is Draco Shield on Nolan will really come in handy here. And you want you want Edward and Nolan on the front lines. In fact, I'm kind of worried about my Edward. His his serve of ability is not that great here. There are tons of hidden items here. Yeah, I kind of like to just have Soth solo the uh, the northern part with this beast killer. Deploy only Meg. The Tigers one run Meg. Yeah, they do, I think. It's kind of annoying. But you don't. Uh, this is like a hill. I didn't know this, notice this first time I played. I thought it was just like water on the ground. But no, you can. You can plunk a unit down here. Uh, I think Edward and Nolan are fairly durable together, but you want to be careful because Edward is not very tanky yet. Nolan is. So I think what we'll do is we'll put Soth and, and Nolan here to begin with. Wind Edge Meg. Can she use the Wind Edge? She can. She's not gonna hit with it though, that's the problem. Okay, Meg, how do you do? Yeah. Not great. Not great. <laughs> he one-shots the tigers! He one-shots the tigers. Oh, oops. Uh, you know what? With the forge, maybe Meg, maybe Meg can actually get a kill. No! Wait, Leonardo. Uh oh, fuck! I hate these conversations. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, so let me see. Uh, this kind of has 14 speed. Mega has a... So she gets double, so we'll need to put a unit in front of her if we're gonna do this. Alright, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> we did it. 33 experience that we'll never get back. Da -da 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 -da. If we can shove Edward twice, we can sh literally, quite literally, sh we can. I don't actually think. Oh, we can. Very nice. We can shove him into a support range. And I, I like to use um, Ileana here just to deal some damage to the tiger. Sometimes she crits, which is actually really nice. If she can hit, which is not always. They're breaking down the walls. I don't think Nolan gets doubled by cats. He has like 12 speed and the cats have like, oh wow, look at this. That Edward support already paying off. You also get healed when you stand next to the wells, which I really like. Ileana the Emulator Breaker. Indeed, indeed. Okay, so... Uh, this is kind of where things get a little rough, because... They're gonna break down this wall, and there's not really a lot of units I have that can tank here. Alan might... 10 speed. He might actually be okay. He has 6 luck, though. What's this guy's crit? Ah, yes, 1% crit. Fuck. Um, unless he can get some supports from Laura? Oh, no. No, there's no crit avoid. Sadly. No, Alan suffers crit, so I don't really know how we're gonna do this. Uh, Meg has 8 speed, so she gets doubled. That's just lovely, isn't it? That's just lovely, isn't it? I guess we have to bring... 
Do we really want to put Edward on the front lines together with Nolan? We kind of have to put Silk back here. Like, we don't really have any choice. He's the only one who can really tank. It's a 1%. Are you really scared of a 1%? In an Iron Man? Yes. Yes. I am. <laughs> we can give Meg another kill. Let's go. <laughs> We can give another kill to Meg, guys. We're really doing this. We're- Oh my god, we're really doing this. <laughs> we're fucking training Meg, guys. Let's go. Oh, she crit! Let's go! Oh, it's the Meg run. Let's watch her first level up be really good, guys. Alright, let's see how... Let's see how... Uh... Oh, that is... Not great. But at the same time, a crit doesn't even kill, so... Uh, yeah, crit doesn't kill here, so... I think we, we can safely place him there. Yeah, we can. We could, we could even take the Wind Edge, and we could uh, attack the cat. We'll probably miss, but it's worth a try. Oh, we, can, we made him untransform. Cool. Oh my god, Leonardo can get a kill. What the hell? Let's go. Doesn't convert. No, conversing serves absolutely no purpose at all. It's literally just there for fluff. And I keep pr clicking on it instead of fighting, and I fucking hate it. It's the worst. But you might as well get it out of the way, so you don't accidentally click on them. Conversations are random. They're like, hi, I see you are there. What do you like to do when you are conversing? Nice. It's like, it's just complete random shit, and yeah. Enemies, by the way, they can run at you, transform, and then attack in the same turn, which... Definitely caught me off guard the first time I played Radiant Dawn. Something you just gotta be very careful about. Luckily, I have a soul from heaven, so... Let's go, the bros. Now, every time you see that little zhink, they do build support, so it's good to have two characters fight next to each other. All right, let's go. Yeah, Oliver has some unique support quotes. This is true. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. If I if I get a game over this run, I am going to be so sad. This statistically should not happen. Oh, let's go. Woo! Oh my god, my Alan and Edward are popping off. Come on, let's keep going. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. I have a blessed Edward and a blessed Nolan. Uh, so let's see, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, we gotta be very careful here. Send Meg back. Um, probably put, let's see, Alan has how much speed? He has 10 speed. This guy will get 10 speeds. I think it's okay to put Alan here to help tank. He go keep getting away with this! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now this guy will run at me and probably hit Nolan, which is fine. Fuck, I hate these conversations. Wait, I can steal? Oh. I mean, sure, why not? It's experience, right? HP, strength, speed, everything you could ever want. Yeah, I know. Like, it's the best levels. HP, strength, speed. It's all I want in Fire Emblem. 
Well, HP, magic, speed, and a magic unit. Those three, and I'm, I'm, oh, I am okay. I wish Alan could get us some experience. Okay, we can train one meme unit. We cannot train all of them. You guys can get a choice, either Alan or Meg. Which one is it gonna be? We, we forged a sword, so it's gonna be Meg. Here we go, he's gonna... Look at this fucker. <laughs> we'll have 1% crit is the worst. Oh! Okay. All right. Alan is like, I can be a meme unit too, you know? All right, let's deal with one of the bosses. I like to put Soth here with the Beast Killer and just kill him. All right, wait, she's so fat, I can't even shove her. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, why are you so fat, Meg? Oh wow, Edward doubles now. What the? <laughs> okay. Oh, I fucking hate these conversations so much. These conversations are the worst. Yeah, my uh, my uh, my my Nolan and my Edward are too strong now. They both double. <laughs> I can't use them to set up kills anymore. This is awful. I gotta give at least one level to Meg to see how she fares initially. All right, here comes the boss. These bosses are kind of nasty. But uh, Soth is more nasty. Oh. And it's some nice experience for him too, which I really like. Strength, skill, speed, luck, and resistance. Let's go. Ooh. Let's go back a little bit. Sacrifice him. You always got a crit on the second hand. Every single time. Every single time. That's how you know it's Fire Emblem, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I really want to get one kill on Meg. That's all I want. Just a single kill on Meg. Did Salt Camp strength? I think so, actually. I shouldn't have put the Beast Killer. Whoops. Whoa. Whoa. Let's let's check it out. I think his strength cap is like 22, right? So he might get it. Oh shit. He's stealing all the experience now, guys. Someone please call the experience police. One damage to Soth. Yeah, Beast 4 is a good skill. I agree. You can put that on Nolan and have him wreck tigers. It's actually really nice. I might as well just bring up a image of, let's see. Let's see. I might as well just bring up a image, I think, so I won't have to like constantly ask you guys where it is. Um, Okay, so there's one item in the middle, one item to the left, and then one item around. Okay, should should be easy enough. I think it, I think the coin is right here. There we go. Hmm. 
The chests are nice too, yeah, absolutely. Oh, we can get a kill on Meg here, I think, maybe. If we do win Sword Edward first. Oh, he. okay, we actually need both of them to work together for this. And then we might get a kill on Meg, maybe. If this is a hit and not a crit, then we can get the kill on Meg. You want to see Soth's stats? Yep, he kept strength. <laughs> he kept strength at level 3. Uh, this is bonkers. He's going to cap every single stat before he promotes to Whisper. It's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. The problem is his promotion is really late. Like so many other units in this game. Let's go. Meg level up. You can battle- you, I don't think bonus experiencing so is worth it. He's gonna cap any, all the stats anyway. Alright guys, if Meg gets a good level, we use her. Okay. That's a very Meg level up. At least you got speed. I don't know guys. I don't know about this. I don't know about this. Didn't even get- didn't even get strength. I don't know guys. I don't know about this. Four stats. I mean, it's better than the average, I guess, but it's still not great. Oh, Bronze Stagger is about to break. Let's go. So, am I completely wrong, or do you generate a little bit of support from shoving in this game? I, I think you do. I actually think you generate just a tiny bit from being shoved. Not much, but just a little bit. So if you want to work just a little bit on your support, you can have units go around and shove each other, which is kind of funny when you think about it. You get like one point every time you shove, which is kind of dumb. Domestic abuse. Ooh. Another kill from Egg? I think we have another kill from Egg. Oh, so close, so close. Ah, oh, Nolan, okay. Uh, what if she borrows... Okay, what if she borrows Edward's win edge? At the very least, she can get chip. Okay, that didn't work. Maybe he'll miss. Maybe. Maybe. Magic speed and resistance. You know, all this training that goes into Laura. And she's just gonna die to some random archer four chapters from now. You know it's true. You know it's true, chat. Hey, strength, magic, speed, let's go. My Micaiah is actually leveling up pretty well, all things considered. She, it's still kind of dangerous to use her. But she's actually leveling up well. Go away, woman! Yeah, no one's gonna kill that guy now. Too bad. Oh, no, he won't! Oh, Meg kill, let's go. This this run is actually kind of blessed, and I think there is a... let's see. So there is an item here? Beast foe, yeah, that's a good one. That's a very good one. Uh, okay, we need a little bit more chip damage from Nolan. And then we go with the mangs. Uh, hey, with that plus one speed level up, Meg doesn't get double by tigers anymore. Progress, and she crit again. Alright, this is nice. 
We'll send Laura over here. We'll continue to shove back and forth. This, this is how you build relationships, guys. You just shove. Just shove. Mega wants to marry you? No, she wants to marry Seahark. Get your allure straight. And then we have a treasure chest down here. Let's bring Meg over here as well. I don't know if I don't know if this is worth doing at all. I know it gives you like a tiny bit, but I mean, it, 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 we might as well, right? Also, am I the only one who finds it incredibly confusing that this is a chest, but this is not, and this is not like? Bro, they're literally chests. I will send Beast Boy to convoy. You don't want Megas your wife. She will eat your whole dinner. Sounds like she'll cook you a lot of dinner, honestly. Monk. Is Meg the new Brom? She will never be the new Brom. Uh, Meg does for all for all that can be said of Meg, I, it, it does seem like she would cook you some good dinner. She seems like a she's a farm girl. She's the daughter of Brom. She probably has she's probably like a really nice person. Even though she is obsessed with Seahark. But hey, she's a young girl. Like we can we can excuse her this. Alright, I will put Nolan right here to pull the cat. Oh, there they come. She may be a bad unit, but she's a good woman. Yeah! She's just a woman trying to find love. There's nothing wrong with that. Ah, oh, shit, my mech. Actually, no, she might still be able to chip a little bit. That's good. Six damage from the wind edge. Maybe we can make something happen. Maybe Edward can kill? Oh, not quite, not quite. I'm actually a little scared here, not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna put Soul here. Just to be safe. Just to be safe, I'm gonna... Since when is Meng sentimental? I can be sentimental. What are, what are you talking about, Chet? Now, let me shove the woman. There we go. Jill loves Har? I don't know. If she, oh, that's the boss. Uh, That's the boss. He's scary. But not that scary. Nolan is very tanky, so we're good. Let me shove the woman. One of them, don't five bucks. Magic Lord is a cool concept, and she's easily top five Talia's girls looks-wise. I think she just suffers from necessarily bad writing in the later game. Yeah, Mikaya is very pretty. She's very pretty. But yeah, again, a cool concept that just failed in practice, I think is a good way to describe uh, Mikaya. I think I'll just kill this guy with self. I, I don't really want to fuck around with him. Oh wait, shit, is this is this kill boss? Or is it route? I think it's route, right? It's route, yeah, 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 it's route, thank god. <laughs> Woo! Well, this is a nice kill for Mag. Let's go! Did my donor earlier get missed? It might, let me read it. Uh Vic. Let's see, Wolfric, 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 ah, here we go. Wolfric, don't notify Bucks for Super Chat. If you were to make the ultimate Fire Emblem game using mechanics from only existing games, which one would you take from Radiant Dawn? Oh, easy, the base prep. The base prep, without a question, and, um... I would, I would take the base prep, and I would take, uh, the, just the design, really? Like, the, the, the artwork is fucking gorgeous. The music, I would also love. Oh, nice, she actually found the Master Seal. That's kind of cool. Oh, we gotta be careful with Meg, though. 
I would take the I would take the artwork, I would take the music, I would take the base preps, I would also take bonus experience, I would take um Ah, uh, tree class tiers is a big if for me. I don't know if I like it that much. Um I don't think it's needed, if I'm gonna be completely honest. Oh shit. Uh now I can't get to the chests. Fuck. I would take Nyla. Oh, PH is a furry, you heard it here first. Okay, if I unequip Nolan, I might be able to run around? Yeah, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna run around. I, I really want that chest, okay? I don't remember what's in it, but I think it's something very good. I would take Nephany? I would take Khalil and Heather. If I was single and not married, that is. Um... Let's see... Furry is a further... Yeah, Seraph Robe. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, oh, yeah, okay, so I have unequipped Nolan. That's good. Oh, wow, we could, we could taint. We could literally taint here, guys. We could literally taint Meg if we wanted to. We could taint Meg if we wanted to. I'm not saying we're going to, but we could if we wanted to. PH, what the fuck, man? <laughs> what is wrong with you, PH? Oh my god, we can taint. It's not a very effective taint, though, because she keeps missing, but... Oh, now she might not miss anymore. Oh, look at that. Oh my god. It's a good taint. Okay. Alright. We got 10 speed, Meg. Uh, let's see. I don't know if this is worth if this is worth doing, but I think it's funny, so I'm gonna keep doing it. Isn't her speed cap ten? It might as well be. Oh my god, <laughs> this is actually pretty good tank. This is actually like a semi decent halfway tank. Okay, now he's gonna go back to his uh, tiger form again and keep attacking Nolan. Nolan will need some healing at some point. He'll actually level up, which is kind of funny. There we go. She gets like 20 experience. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, that's an important one, the Seraph Robe. So if I'm going to use Meg seriously, it is actually worth considering giving her the Seraph Robe. I know it's a big meme, but it is actually kind of Maybe worth it? I don't know. Alright, Nolan, level up. Let's go. Hit points, strength. Oh my fucking god. I keep getting strength and speed on both Nolan and Edward. <laughs> I, I keep getting strength and speed on Nolan and Edward. I think maybe it's just time to kill him now. Let's go. Yeah, strength and speed punch. Sure. <laughs> Manx is tainting while people are shoving their partners. That pretty much sums up this run, doesn't it? Alright, Meg. Go and claim your prize, Meg. I like that Lagoo's kick in this game. I think it's kind of funny. There you go. Bye. Alright, so we got two levels on Meg. She got speed both times. Hi, Raphael. How are you doing? La 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 la. I am Raphael and I sing. This is a nice image. I like it.
Hans Miller donated 110 through Super Chat. Something about atmosphere of Radiant Dawn is so depressing. I get the opposite. I, I think Radiant Dawn is a really uplifting game. The history of Tellius is a history of warfare. I think, I think, so I, I will admit some of the songs can be a, a bit draggy sometimes when you listen to them for long the periods of time. And the Laguz, a history penned in blood and scarred by mistrust. The Bjork fight mm. with the weapons of man, the sword. The axe, the lance, and the magic arts. No, 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 While the lagoons, able to transform into beast, bird, and dragon. Alright, I'm downloading memes. Weapons unto themselves. Both were created equally by the goddess. No, but no, 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 race has no. ever accepted the other. No, no, no. The heron prince, Raphael. The wolf queen of Hatari, Nyla. And her vassal, Volug. Is the Dawn Brigade's meeting with these three Lagoos chance or a sign of things to come? This is a, a bit of an annoying thing about the plot of Radiant Dawn is Mikaya just uses her Mary Sue powers of foresight and says, I think we should go here. And then it's like, oh, is it fate? No, it's called railroading, you idiot. It's like, no, Mikaya literally just said, let's go there. Yeah, of course. Ha ha. Mikai is a Mary Sue, she has no weakness, not one Argo. You said she's a trash unit with no redeeming qualities. <laughs> no, no, she's a Mary Sue in the story. She's not a Mary Sue in gameplay, not not by a long shot. I wish she was a Mary Sue in the story. That, that way she might have been a decent unit. <laughs> Nolan, let's go. You guys always act like you're better than me. <laughs> they are. I, I think Alan would have been a better name for him, honestly. Aaron is a bit weird. Meg's fantasy, but Seahark loves furries. What? Oh, she's getting killed by a tiger. I fear no man, but that thing... It scares me. Ah, uh. oh, ladies and gentlemen. What do you get here? Is this money? Yeah, you get 10,000 gold. That's nice. And you get Volug, which is also nice. All right, we have Deathless mode so far, which is nice. Uh, we can improve Nolan and Edward's support to B, which is fantastic. So all the shoving did not let- Oh! The shoving worked! The shoving worked! They got a B support! That's actually really funny, so... Cool. Shoving actually does confirm to work, guys. It's not just me misremembering. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I think that'll cut it for one stream. I got, uh... Yeah, wait. Got five chapters in. Say we're off to a pretty good start. Let's do a unit review. Mikaya. She's actually leveling up really well. 12 magic, 11 speed. It's nice. Uh, Soth has kept strength. I mean, with transfers, he is literally bonkers. Edward is a god. 14 strength, 15 speed. It's, he's so fucking good. Leonardo, he's still around, I guess. The B support with Ileana is actually kind of cute, but it doesn't really give him that much. Nolan is a god. 16 strength, 16 speed. My goodness, look at this man. Laura, healer. Ileana, I don't think I've given her a single level. Aaron, I don't think I've given her a single level. Him a single level. We gave Neg two levels, and she still sucks, but she might get somewhere eventually. We'll see. Volug, he's amazing. We, we might as well show off his growth rates uh, before we end. Um, Volug is like basically your second self. He's a unit that kind of kills everything. He can stay transformed indefinitely through his uh, half shift skill. Uh, he doesn't get any experience, so only use him to kill units when necessary. 
Um, he can die, and it's actually a game over if he dies, so you do have to be careful of Fire Mages. It's not likely that they'll kill him, but they can. If many of them gang up on him, he can actually die, which will give you a game over, so be careful with him. But he pretty much, like, deletes everything you throw him at. So, uh, his growths are kind of shit, though. Most Lagoos in this game has really low growths, because they double their stats when transformed, so each point of stat for a Lagoos gives two stats. Which is why most of them have, like, really shit growths and strength and skill. For some reason. Uh, but they have really high luck, because their luck bonuses are not doubled when they transform. So they can still get good luck growths. He's good in early game, falls off hard in the light game, like 80% of this game's cast. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Is Science streaming? Let's have a look if he's streaming. If he is, we should go raid him. Uh, is Science streaming? No, he's offline. Maximize this. Oh, I got a Pepsi Max commercial on Science Twitch. That's fucking hilarious. Oh, Handlemore sent the last minute meme. Okay, Lucas, since it's you. Um, let's see. Uh, no, no. Since it's you, Lucas. When is Coring Quest? Probably after the new year, I imagine. Seriously, how do you beat <laughs> those all errands? That'd be good if I got like 40 of them. If you think she is hot, you're a furry. If not, you're gay. Uh, she's she doesn't. I she's not my type. I, I like I understand why you guys like it. I I do, but it's not for me. I, I don't like muscle women. I just I never have. Didn't you send a third meme? What happened to that? Oh, here it is. <laughs> Don Lot on Meg. Sea <laughs> Ark and Meg. All right. Now we can do the QA. <laughs> Uh, random master asks, when's the rest of the Fire Emblem Builder tutorial vids? Um, when I have time to do them, which is probably never. Donlot asks, Max, are you ready to see me beat you at this game while using scrubs tomorrow? Absolutely not. You're gonna get game over and get demoralized, Donlot. Who in the mode asks, ROM hack Iron Man when? I think I'd like to ROM hack Iron, em uh, Iron Emblem, I say. Um, oh, we gotta do Iron Emblem, Donlot. Um, I would like to, to Iron Man Shadows of Etheria once it's done, yeah. Tragedy in Green has plans for Christmas. It's pretty much going to be the same thing as every year, except that my fiance is here now. Um, it, literally, I mean, it's just, we were as basic as they come. It's literally just presents and a dinner. That's all. Classic Norwegian Christmas, guys. There's nothing special about it. We eat pork belly, rockfisk, uh, sausages. Uh, my parents drink aquavits. And that's pretty much about it. We give each other presents. It's it's like classic, but I will say it's gorgeous outside right now. It is so pretty outside. It's like it's like a blanket of snow. It's Christmas lights everywhere. This is like the most beautiful Christmas we've had in years. Not reindeer? Ah, uh, no, that's in the north PH. If you go north, they eat reindeer. Now I love reindeer. Reindeer is fucking delicious, but we don't eat it for Christmas. That's like northern Norway custom. Uh, Salto asks, is Awakening Lunatic plus Deathless possible? Oh, it's possible. I've seen a guy do it on Twitch, actually. Uh, it requires you to have just insane knowledge. And it requires you to do some resets. If certain enemies get certain skills, it's not possible. So you need to know exactly which enemies... It's actually not as RNG as you might think. I saw a guy do it on Twitch, and... It was like, if this Marmadon has Luna Plus, he reset. If this Archer have Hawkeye, he reset. 
It was like very specific skills that he could not have. And he had to like reset two or three times uh, each map just to until he got the skills that he wanted. It was like one or two enemies that could not have certain skills on them. Uh, but he was able to do it. Like he played all the way up until you get the Outrum Gate, uh, Deathless, and then he just like recruited overpowered characters and soloed the game. So, uh, but without Outrealm, I guess if you drew a Chrome Robin solo with Nosferatu, you could probably do it. Noring IS asks, is there a Sunday stream since Christmas Eve? No, no, we're not going to do a Sunday stream. It's Christmas Eve. Uh, there's a charity stream on the 27th. I will announce it very soon. That's one, two, three, four. It's like five days away. Uh, so we'll be doing a charity stream, and uh, then I promised PH an Oblivion stream, which I'll probably do on... S I don't know when I'll do the Oblivion stream, at some point during during the holidays. Bum -ba. Uh, Mike Smith asks, least favorite Radiant Dawn map? Um, least favorite Radiant Dawn map? Probably 1-3, honestly. Probably 1-3, honestly. Oh, no. Joffrey's Charge is really bad. Yeah, I agree. I fucking hate Joffrey's Charge. That chapter is like, oh, you solo it with Joffrey, and then he might die if you're unlucky. If you, It's, it's so annoying. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh, Wolfric asks, transfer units you're most excited for? Um, this fucker right here, I'm very excited for. Magic skill, speed, and rest transfer. But probably the one I'm most uh, excited about is Braum. Strength, skill, speed, and defense transfer. My Braum is going to be so freaking good. He's gonna have two strength, two skill, two speed, plus two defense. He's gonna be a god. I can't wait. He's gonna disarm everyone. And then Heather's gonna steal their shit. Uh, Say asks, do you prefer GBA calves, dual weapons, or Tully's calves, single weapons? I like both. But if I have to choose one, I'd say single weapons. Alright. Uh, Sephir Gaming asks, what's your favorite game to Iron Man? Ooh, um, hmm. Conquest, maybe? Either Conquest. I Honestly, FE7 is pretty fun to Iron Man. FE6, too. Ah, oh, man, I can't, I can't pick one. FE6 is pretty fun to Iron Man. It's very Iron Man friendly, too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm logging off now. Thank you so much. Let me see if I missed any donations. Oh, Dorian guy donated two bucks on the moon memes. I already did them. Um. Oh, Team Generator Milan donated nine ninety nine. You've been consistently streaming a lot. Much appreciated. Keep up the good work. Also, what unit changes? What units changes the most from Path of Radiance character or gameplay wise? Um, hmm. Nephany, maybe? Nephany is really good in Radiant Dawn. She kind of sucks in Path of Radiance. Mia is crazy good in Radiant Dawn. I actually would go so far as to say that Mia is one of the best Grail mercenaries, aside from Mike. Uh, Mia's stats are crazy. She has, like, so much strength and speed. She doubles and one rounds everything. And because of one two range sword, she's actually good in enemy phase. So Mia is just an absolutely monster in Radiant Dawn. She just murders everything. She has, like, better combat than Titania. Um, any other unit that changes drastically? Har. Yeah, Har is very kind of mediocre in Path of Radiance, and he's a freaking god in Radiant Dawn. <laughs> yeah. Um... Well, let me see. Did I miss out on any other... Oh, Fear Guy the Foot Fetish is from 4chan, don't have 5 bucks. I'm here on vacation in Oslo. I got to try Yule Oil for the first time today. It was the best beer I've ever had. That's so funny, Fear Guy, because uh, Bethany, Bethany and I was walking around in Oslo a few days ago. To think to imagine that there's a chance that Bethany and I may have passed Fear Guy on the street without knowing it. He could have literally been... Because we were walking... Uh, Fear Guy, if you're still in chat... Were you at the Christmas market and Speaker Shippa? 
because that's where we were working. And if you say you had Yulol, because they they serve alcohol there, so literally we could have we could have been like five feet away from Fear Guy at the Christmas market. That's fucking hilarious. Um, <laughs> that's really funny. But yeah, enjoy enjoy your stay in Oslo, Fear Guy. It's very beautiful right now with all the snow and the Christmas lights. I really enjoyed my time in Oslo. I think Bethany did too. It was beautiful. Um, small world, yeah. Mang's meetup? Uh, um, maybe some other time. <laughs> maybe some other time. Uh, enjoy your Christmas. All right. Hey, Mangus, it's me, Fire Fear Guy, the foot fetishist from 4chan. Yeah, it'd be very funny to me, to me, yeah. I mean, the thing is, he would recognize me. I wouldn't recognize him, because I don't know what he looks like. He knows what I look like, so he would be able to to say hello to me if he wanted to. Oblivion Stream 1? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, guys, I'm logging off. Thank you so much for watching. Had a great stream. Good start. Deathless. Good units. I feel good about this one, guys. I feel good about this run. I think we're, we got a good one. I just kind of not cr pray, place Alicia and Ranger for crossbow, and we should be fine. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Merry Christmas. I probably won't see you again until after the Christmas celebration. In fact, I think the next stream might be the charity stream on the 27th. So see you then on Wednesday, guys. Take care, and a Merry Christmas, and have fun with your families, guys. Bye-bye. Wait, where's my end screen? Oh, there we go.